Yo, we on. Fox Hole Radio, baby. I love playing this at church. This is, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, the church I go to is a little, uh, you know, it's a little more liberal. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? A little? Mm-hmm. It just, you know, they look at, you know, heaven in a different way. Okay. You know, like, How? They play no game with How these bitches. You know, with bitches you know. and hoes? Well, I mean, it's just a different kind of church. You yeah. know, when you're in California, there's all kind of little pockets, just you know. Some sure. people go to Kabbalah, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Go to what? Uh, Kabbalah. Kabbalah. Is oh, that? Uh, Speedy thought it was a food. Yeah. <laughs> no, ma- Madonna does. Put cheese on mine. Madonna, Madonna does. does uh, with the little red string on Yes, it's Fox on Radio. What's cracking? Other than the crack of your ass. It's going down this Saturday. It is, man, I don't know where y'all at, but. Can we get a weather report, Fox? Man, to all of my people in, in all of the Nordic places, East Coast. Nordic. Uh, the East Coast places <laughs> uh, so... that are like uh, making uh, snowmans and things like that, I apologize for this. <laughs> uh, it's earthquake weather. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no, please, don't jinx uh, it now. Jinx uh, you know what? That's the, See, that's the thing. I get the front and the next thing you know, the whole house came in. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, it is 80... Man, Three. 80, 83, 80, 83 mm. out here in California. Bomb. So uh, it never rained in Southern California. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> grab the baby oil and the g-strings. Well, not yet. Uh, nope. No, not yet. No, no. we got yes. we got some stuff, but we'll we'll save it. We're, what's yeah. what's going down? Uh, well, you know, hey, hey Target. Target. Yeah. <laughs> it's going down. Fox Hole Radio. Lead. It's 83 degrees. <laughs> we are in a uh, secret area in a mm. bunker. In a bunker. Uh, because you know we talk a little shit on this, oh, uh, so we had to get out of. Yeah. We had to get out of uh, Beverly Hills. I remember, I remember, they banned us from everywhere. I don't even know if Rick Ross remembers this. Remember when the Whoa. real Rick Ross came to the... Oh, yeah. Freeway Rick? Yeah, yeah Freeway Rick. Freeway Rick. You got to say yeah. Freeway for all sorry, of us. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. disrespectful. Freeway Rick. Okay. <laughs> actually came to our spot where we were uh, mm-hmm. doing our show. You were a little scared. Rick Ross was there, and I was just like, I was scared. I was like, <laughs> I didn't want to, you know, no, go down. So, therefore, we have now... Uh, figured it out, mm-hmm. you know, so we can say whatever the hell we want to say. Okay. Because yeah. don't nobody know where we are no. unless somebody tweets it or fucking Instagram or <laughs> uh, fucking we, we, whatever that. We get shit. no service out here, so we good. My good. <laughs> in the house we got. TDP. In the house we got. In the house we got. We got Tyron Turner. In the house we got. It's your boy Speed Doggy. I don't know why he sounds like that. Yeah. That's <laughs> and in the house we got. Carmina. Oh, Ooh. shit. Get we're we're hiring the to help now. We, apparently they don't oh, want to clean no, up. Speedy, you stop know you bad Latin girls. I got your pampers. <laughs> How's they cleaning I love, my room? I love, I love the Lakers. I love the Raiders. I love Los it. Dodgers. <laughs> anyway, it's going down. It's yeah. Saturday, man. If you want to reach out to us, Foxhole, Foxhole, reach out, 855-369-9898. What's the hot? In the show? house we got Randall Cobb in the house. Receiver. Hello. Fox. He run a 446. So we what I see. told him after this, we're going to go outside. I'm going to show him Wait my Wait a minute. Technique. I need that. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to show him my so, so him up. Now, Randall, He's a pack. It's, it's, go, it's, go, it's going down. Randall, Randall, He's let a pack. Let, let, let me say something. Speak on it. I, I, I think I fooled myself. Mm. Um, I think I ran a 30, 32 and a half yard dash. <laughs> believe in your chick. No, believe in yourself, but man. You're going to say that did, on radio? When they did, when they did at, the one, at one point, I said it was a 40, and I was telling people I ran a 4.8, 4.7. Okay. And at uh, Tyra ran a four five. Four five. And, uh, <laughs> you ran a four five? That's what I ran in, in some uh, high, high grass. You gotta yeah. say what it was. It was high grass. It was And I had on my I had on my not, my 2006 D Ways. Wait, 2008 oh, D Ways. Do it! <laughs> Happy birthday, D Way. Happy birthday. That's Is right. It, it was yesterday. Yeah. Oh, man. Happy baby day. Yeah. Um, oh, oh. What happened? That's yeah. That's what happened? Oh, he was born. No, he, baby, born. Oh, oh, baby, born. Oh, happy Relax. Baby day. What do you think? Yeah. Damien, you think he's he took a break or something? He's Damien Wade. Him like yeah, nothing. you think he took a break? Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, anyway, so anyway, I, I think, I did tell people I ran a 4-5. Well, think, keep it. I, I was it downhill? <laughs> <laughs> On skate. But today, the Tyron Turner is extremely fast. And the Tyron has yeah. told me several times, a few things the Tyron has told me. Let's go into let's go. things that Tyron Turner has told let's me. Let's go. Let's, let's get into it. Oh, man. Tyron Turner told me that he doesn't think LeBron James could outrun him. Wow. I don't. Okay. Wait, this is coming from the man that huh? said he would beat up Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. We, 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 we run the 40 yards. I never said I could beat up Floyd Mayweather. I said in a street fight, it's just different. I said as a boxer, I think what? he's incredible. He slept shit out of you. Oh, <laughs> my slept shit out of you. God. Out of so, everybody. So, things that Tyrant said. Jesus Christ. It's about an <laughs> slap box with... Uh, 
Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> he said that. Yes. Uh, street fight. Oh God, that. Uh, you you got me. Said, you, oh, I got you. I'm not. Hold up. You my homie, my nigga. I'm with you. Okay. I, I told uh, you. I'm with you. No matter what. Don't try to brown no. I'm always with you. Okay. I'm always with you. Just in case. I'm always with you because I had to jump in. I'm always with you. Thank you. Uh, we said. He said he could run a 40, 4 4. But I said, Tyrant, we only run 4 4s, or we only run the 40 every 40 years. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. These guys do it. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Please okay. find a spot for this. Oh, mm. my God. What just hey. walked in? Oh Jesus God. Christ. That must be the devil. Something happened. <laughs> it must be the devil. They, they, they say the devil is the most beautiful thing on the, mm. on the planet. And yes, it is. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, today, can we work it out? Yeah. Yeah. We can make it happen. Can we? Are we you can make it happen. We can make it happen. Yeah. What? Yeah. what was your 40? What was your 40? 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Four, so, four, do five. you think he can run a 4-4-5? Four, four, I think he could. Why you after say that? Tra- after training, though. Okay. You need some training, though. Okay. You can't just go out there okay. and run a 40-yard right. right. But why you say that I can't? You just looking you just, at my physical oh makeup? My <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Are you serious right I'm now? You, said, you, look, you look like you done ran for a few dogs. Just give your... Stop. Stop. I'm saying from, I'm from the hood, so we done ran from some okay. dogs before. Okay. 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 So you think he could run a 4 Yeah, yeah. You might have to put a dog behind him. Oh. It has to be the dog. So are we going to do this after this? Let's do it. Whatever. I would love to see that. I'm not. And I want to be able to. I got to stretch, and I'm not running from that. Whatever. Here we go with the excuses. Right, Jay? I can stretch. You got to I'm not running from no race. The grass is too long. But I know what I'm saying. He's running high grass, though. He's running high grass already. Before you stretch, I know you got to hear this. You got to do that right there. You gotta get that goddamn salve. Nigga. You need some salve. This I ain't running right. from nothing. I you ain't some, worried about no one's name. You need some salve. You better salve. put it on the back of your knee. Let's go. Let's do it. So, Randall, Randall, talk to us, man. First of all, uh, American football wide receiver from the Green Bay Packers. He's a Packer. Uh, how tough was it having your quarterback? go down? Mm. It was tough, but Aaron Rodgers. It, 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 it was more tough for the team because I was already out. Right, I went right. down week five. Wow. Uh, I got hit low blow. You got hit. You got, uh, yeah, I had a fractured tibia. Well, I heard so you I got bit by a butterfly. That's what I heard. <laughs> no, uh, no, was, uh, no. I heard you was butterfly. I heard you was butterfly catching yourself. <laughs> and uh, it was a hole in your neck. I you got it. Out. I got it. No, it's an ear de loom. We got to catch this one. <laughs> what is it? An uh, ear de loom. We got to catch this one. Okay. It's very always... rare. Yeah. So, so you got low blow. Yeah, low blow. I was out for eight weeks. He went out two weeks after I did. And then, wow. Yeah. Wow. So how do you yeah. feel about the, the low blow situation? How do you feel? Or is it just part of the game? It's like a catch-22 because, mm-hmm. you know, with the whole concussion thing, getting hit in the head now, mm-hmm. um, I think it's causing a lot of guys to go low. So mm-hmm. when they go low, they're hitting in the knees now. That's taking guys out. Honestly, for me, I would rather get hit in the head than hit, get hit in my knee. If I get hit yeah. in the knee, my career is over. Possibly I'm done. Right. I never get to go back on the field. Concussion, one, two weeks, I'm back on the mm-hmm. field. I'm back playing. I still got a chance to make some money to right. make sure I have yeah. – Success later on. It's but just with the concussion, you with don't the know how to sign your check at the end. Of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is what? Pac-Man. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm only 13 years old. <laughs> and that's important to know how to sign your check. Right. Yeah, right. Very so, important. so I, I get that. So, yeah. so, hitting all, so, so what do you think the NFL has to do? I mean, cause they got to make a hitting zone. They have to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that we are professional athletes. We can do that. We can right. control our body to that. We can control our body to hit, you know, mid thigh up to the neck. Yeah. So, yeah, so he, 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 he was because now let me play devil's advocate because some of the defensive players uh, like Ray Lewis, wow. like uh, uh, you know these guys that I that I know and hang out with. They say that they're taking the game away from. They are, from and them. that's and that's why I said catch twenty two in the beginning because I right. love that physicality of the game. I love <laughs> yeah. getting hit. I mean, mm. I don't love getting hit. I hate getting hit, actually. Say, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, Fox, how Ray Lewis said, what's the voice he used when he said? Fox! <laughs> this is bullshit, dog. It's, <laughs> it's not right. Now, I'm sick of it. It's ridiculous. You can't see what now, I'm doing. What, <laughs> you, <laughs> wait a minute, what does he do when he say Tony Romo? Oh, oh I can't say do that. Oh, my God. Come say, on, Fox. Come on. Well, here's the thing. Like, like when we ask... Like when we talk about quarterbacks, like my quarterback's Tony Romo. I'm from you know Dallas Cowboys. Right? Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Speak up. Get in there. It took you a while. Eight and eight. That's his favorite stadium to play in, though. Probably. Yeah, it's a nice stadium. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, <bro. laughs> Some connection. So, so what anyway, what I would tell, what I would tell, like like Cowboy fans, you can't ask offensive players 
what they think about other offensive players. You have to ask defensive players what they think about offensive mm-hmm. players right. in order to really get a true measuring stick. So when I asked Ray Lewis, Michael Strahan, Justin Tuck, you know, about quarterbacks, and then me and him go back and forth. Come on, what? man. We I'm, can't do this. Right I'm not. Now. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. When we asked, I asked him about Tom Brady. I said, Ray Lewis, what about Tom Brady? Trigonometry, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Up all night. God damn. Got to study, Fox. It's trigonometry, man. I need to know everything he's doing. Trigonometry. Then I say, what about Peyton Manning? God damn. Shh. Algebra, Fox. All night long. Got to study. Got to know what he's doing. Then I said, Tony Romo. He said, oh, man. Shit. <laughs> that let you know right there. I said, what? He said, jump the route. He said, he said, dinner time, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, he said, dinner time. Shit. I said, what you mean? He says, he said, I just peel my airbags, peel my airbag and go and go, go get, get it. it. And he said that he's not, he's not to that point. Mm-hmm. No. And he says, he said, he said, he plays checkers for us. And we play chess. Yes. So I was like, man, you know, hearing what he says about the game is completely you know, like different because we always hear from an offensive perspective. Right. We've always hear from don't hurt the quarterback. We hear from, you know, the, the high flying wide receivers, but we never really get a chance to get a perspective on the on the defensive person. So he says that defense is being compromised now because of, of, of everybody love points though. Everybody yeah. want points. They want these high point games where especially with the fantasy football, that adds a whole dimension of football wow. that you haven't seen. Right, right. So with these with these fantasy football, everybody is paying attention. They want more points to their team and how you get more points. Offensive scoring touchdowns. So you hold you hold the defense back. You hold uh. the defense back to put up more points. These corners look I want to know this, Randall. How many Lambo leaps do you have under your belt? I got a few. Got how a few. many? I don't know exactly. You ain't that good. Uh, I got enough. <laughs> <that. laughs> yeah. I got enough. So, I got enough. That's so, what I'm talking about. so let me ask this, Randall. T- talk about playing with the history of the Green Bay Packers. Man. We've yeah. always talked about, you know, it's it's really uh it's really uh I think it's organizations that win championships. Talk it about is. playing for that. It's the gold standard of football. Wow. It, it's where football begins. Mm. If you look at it, it's where football begins. You look at the Bar Star days. Wow. You look at those, uh, you look at um, Brett Favre and what he was able to do, Reggie White, just those legendary figures. And when you can walk onto that field knowing that you're playing on the same field that these guys that came before wow. you playing on, it, it, it's just a, it's a special impact to you. Is the ground that Person. hard? They no, no, they got uh, they got heaters and pipes on oh, okay. now, so it don't freeze no okay. more. Yeah. Okay. So Back in the day. And, and not not and and we can't forget Lombardi. Mm. Yeah, the trophy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is named. there some special the thing? You got, do you guys have some special thing you guys have to know or learn anything when you come to Green Bay? No, nah, we really don't. But, I mean, uh, me personally, I wanted to know. So I went on a little Packer tour. They got a little tour of the, um, the, the Hall of Fame and everything. So Did I you bring your own snacks? Yeah. No. Oh. no. I got bought some popcorn. Yeah. 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 So I got a Packer tour. And to your right. Call us. Let us know what you think. <laughs> and to your this right. This is the Foxhole 855-369-9898. Call yeah. in. Yeah. Why magic jump? Oh, oh I'm sorry. We'll get you, to the you're jumping. Yeah. My, my bad. We'll that, so, yeah, wait a minute. He got, He's six feet. You six feet? No, I'm a little taller than you, Bill. With heels on. No. 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 How, tall, how tall are you, man? 5'11". 5'11". 5'11". But we put, we put six. That's why I used to do football, because I was like Yeah, five, yeah. You like ten. you got to boost yourself yeah, up 5'10". I'm six yeah, feet. But I, I put like nothing. six one You love the tall receivers, though. Don't you love them tall receivers? I love tall receivers. We always go back and See, he likes little guys. Yeah. He always like. I just think guy. we got the most heart. He's got to. Yeah. I'm not saying. Why do I have, it, it depends on what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah. When I say little, when you say little guy. Ooh. You got to support Ooh. your own. You got to start <laughs> with big at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you see, if you follow football, coming out of Kentucky, he was the quarterback his first three years. Right. Then he went to wide receiver. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. So how does that make you feel when they say most uh, African-American quarterbacks come from right. college playing quarter? I mean, they play quarterback, then they make him a wide receiver or, or free safety, or it doesn't matter? You know, it, it was a proud thing for me whenever they moved me. I really wanted to play quarterback because I thought in my heart that's who I am. Yeah. But career-wise, you know, looking at the statistics, uh-huh. yeah, you, I felt like it. Hold on, you're right back. You're right back. Hold on. You said what? I didn't know statistics. You said you like fish sticks. I didn't know. Hey. I'm not making nervous. That's why they moved me. Anyway, that's why they moved me. You got a concussion, though. It's that new money, new team. New money, new team. I couldn't get the play out in the huddle. That's why they moved me. I like it. You did tell you that. You said, like, <laughs> you know what? I had the same thing. I call it porcelain problem. <laughs> oh, porcelain problem. Oh, but it's a V in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, so anyway, so they moved you to, uh, to to wide receiver. They moved me to wide receiver, wildcat quarterback. I still played a little bit back there. But, uh, yeah, it was a better career move for me, and I think it worked out fine. Man, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's 
Fox Ho Radio. What's cracking? Other, Other than the crack of your ass. We're in the house right now with Randall Cobb from the Green Bay Packers. We want to get a we want to get a prediction out of him. Who's hey. gonna win this thing? Final four. I gotta take Seattle. Yes. Wow. Seattle. You gotta do it. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. Sorry about wow. that, Mo. What? My bad. Wow. Take that shirt too. off. Wow. It's a lot of. Can, I got they, to. You want to speak, speak on that day, Brown? You want to speak on that day, Brown? You want to speak on that day, Brown? Wait a minute. It's not going to be a lot of people there. <laughs> day Brown, all the way from San Francisco. You want to speak on that? <laughs> so, so I, what? I got to, man. They knocked us out. I, I can't take the wow. Niners. They not, like, So, are you saying that because you're hating, or are you saying no, that because you I actually really, think I really they're going to win? I really think with their defense. And the way that they uh they play in the cold weather, I think it's gonna be to their advantage. Seattle and who? Week. Seattle and Denver. Okay. Wow. Wow. Seattle. Why There's not Tom not Brady? Be that many people Ooh. there. Ooh, now let's get into Why it. Why not Tom let's Brady? I'm asking let's get a into serious it. question right get into now. Why are you moving your lips? I'm not like afraid. That. I am mad right now. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Tom. I want some answers. Get right into it, Tyron. So ask Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. I'm asking you a question right here, right now, in front of my home. It's time. It definitely need one. Just ask Peyton me. Ask him what you want to ask. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and why? Who? I'm taking Peyton. Why? I'm taking Peyton because of what he what he does. I mean, I know I know statistics show. Uh -oh. I got it out. Oh, got, oh, I got it out. Oh, I got it out. Oh, you start playing <laughs> word with that. <laughs> I got it out that time. But statistics show that Tom Brady is a better quarterback. He got more wins. He got right. Oh, uh, head to head rivalry. They right. go back and forth. But okay. I just feel gut feeling. It's Peyton's time. Okay, let me ask you the question that he really wants to know, because we go back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says that Peyton Manning is a better quarterback than Tom Brady. He said that. You got to look at the guys that they both had around them, too. I'm listening. I'm that's, listening. that's what makes it tough. That what, that's what makes it tough. Because Peyton's Tom Brady of, does not have. He doesn't. He doesn't. But, but you got to go off team, too. You can't s specifically hmm? go off of... <laughs> it's another S. I think it's another the S's. S. It's yeah. the S's. No, but let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this, though. <laughs> Tom Brady. Yeah. Peyton Manning. It's simple. We, we, don't want? Want, we don't hear nothing else. I'll What's take up? Payton. I'm going with Peyton. Peyton Manning. At the better quarterback? That's a better quarterback. That's a better quarterback. Okay. Between them two. Okay, I'll take that. Between I'll take that. Two. Because we've had this conversation for a long time. Yeah. I feel that Tom Brady is a better quarterback. And we had some other guys that you may know who also weighed in on it. Mm -hmm. A guy by the name of Justin Tuck, a guy by the name of Michael Strahan. Yeah, Super Bowl champion. Also Super Bowl champions who also said that Tom Brady, he makes – I don't know how to say it without putting him out there. You know what I'm saying? With, I'll, I'll paraphrase. He basically said that he has the edge when it comes to really getting it done in the Super Bowl and, and leaning to the fact that, you know, for the he past does. 10, 12 years, Peyton Manning has thrown that little interception in his soft captain. But you think he gets over the hump? I think he year. do. I think he get over the hump this year. I he think it's his time. He got to. Yeah. For his, They're going to talk his, bad about it. For who he is, for yeah. his legend, yeah. he need this one. He need this, he need this one. He blow He's running out of time. He need this one. He blowed. He lost me, too. Foxhole Radio, you heard it right here. Randall Cobb has guaranteed that Seattle. <laughs> Randall Cobb from the Green Bay, Bay Packers, Packers has guaranteed that Packers. Seattle is going to go and win the Super Bowl. There it is. We'll be right back. We're taking a break. We're coming right back. Foxhole Radio. Yeah. Yo, we are back. It's Fox on Radio. Call in 855-369-9898. Call in. Talk to Jamie. Oh, you talk to me. I have to uh, take a shower pretty soon. A yeah, cold, I was going to tell cold you. Cold shower. For <laughs> uh, oh, what? A lot well, of things are happening around here. A lot strong. of things are happening right now. Uh, this young lady just walked in. <laughs> We've been blessed. Just, yes. We've really been blessed. Now, I've been... Uh, How did she find the bunker? What? How did she find it? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm glad she did. Yeah. Uh, there's been several nights where I've uh, Stop. went on the internet. Stop. That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. <laughs> uh -uh. I mean, this is Foxhole. Uh -uh. I mean, I just got to be Respect. honest. Respect. I'm being respectful. There have been several nights where, you know, I've taken my uh, computer on a date. <laughs> oh, no. Where I've uh, just, just punched this girl. I've just punched this girl's neck. Well, Vaseline is a little too thick, but, uh, <laughs> right. it's, uh, you know, because it bogs you down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, eh, 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 oh, 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 uh, put your condom back on. Jeez. There's been a... Uh, well, I just go to her name. I'll just punch in her name, and mm. I just hit images. Wow. Mm. And then all the images come Six up. Six feet. Ooh, and, uh, <laughs> just absolutely gorgeous. Luxurious. Uh, look, I, you know what? 
to me, you, you really have to say that God really took his time when he made her because this is just crazy. Yeah. I uh, agree. The abs. <laughs> mm. The face. Mm. The eyes. The mm. eyes. And you know what we all love. I love her baby toe. <laughs> <laughs> her baby toe is off the chain. Uh, but not to get too loose. Not to crawl in the floor right uh, now. <laughs> not but, to get crawl. Go ahead, crawl. But, but also uh, has a great... TV show out right yes. now. Mm. Uh, she basically the is beautiful. the show. We need a place of Beyonce right now. Oh, we need oh a, wow. We need, yeah, we need that playing right now. We need, we need <laughs> yep. that plan. And you know what it is. You know what we, we want. We, it's you, on you know that, that status. Is. Yeah, we need we need to play that right now. Mm. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I've, I've had the pleasure of knowing this lady from a distance mm. for a long time. Always admired her. Always She's have been stalker. respectful. I'm stalking <laughs> A uh, little bit of a stalking yeah, situation. Talking. That's what it's called. I'm talking about n- none other than. 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 Oh, my goodness. Nicole Murphy's in the building right now. Yeah. Yes. 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 Play that, play that Beyonce right there. Mm. This is appropriate right now. <laughs> she, was, she was moving them hips, guys. Let me ask you this. How are you doing today? I am wonderful. Well, you look I'm fantastic. Wow. Thank you. Stunning. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Your life, let's, I mean, mm. we don't want to, we don't want to get into too much, right. mm-hmm. but you are the wife of, ex-wife. Ex-wife of yeah, Eddie Murphy. Of Eddie Murphy. Mm. Right. Mm. I didn't know that. Uh, I, I didn't know that either. Yeah. I thought you were Charlie. Yeah. I thought you were with Charlie. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, God. oh, hilarious. <laughs> you are hilarious. What? Eddie? It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, ex-wife of Eddie Murphy. Um... And then he blessed you, as I understand, to be able to to do the show without any. Because sometimes that gets a little, right. you know, when you do the 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 wife of, you know, what is basketball wise. Right. And sometimes the guys get a little, oh man, what's going to happen? Of what's going to be? And I understand that he was really cool about that. Yes, uh, actually, his uh, brother Vernon Lynch approached mm-hmm. me about the show. It's called Hollywood Exit. Oh, okay. wow. So it's about a group of women who've mm-hmm. been married to celebrity men, right. and it's basically about our lives and what we're doing now. Okay. Wow. Right. So I'm not on there bashing my ex-husband. Okay. I, I have a great friendship yeah. with him still. As cool. you should. We have five beautiful children, and um, everything's wonderful. So I'm in a great space with him. Wait, hold, wait a minute. Five. Did you just tell me you have five beautiful? With that body, you looking like this, mm. four girls, one boy. What oh, is your wow. secret? Well, I have eight. But Speedy, you, but you don't look like. Ones. Look at your stomach. <laughs> you look like you had twelve. I think you had it looks an easy like way. You actually <laughs> had them. You look it like looks... America's top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you gave birth. To them. So, how, the, first of all, so so how's the show going? The show's doing great. We're in our third season. Fantastic. So I actually wow. just came from the set right now. I had to do my little interview. Oh, um, okay. So we really doing it. Man, yeah. that's fantastic. So, and then you have and you have. And we have a new cast member. Who's that? It's Sh- uh, Shayna Mokler, who was married to Travis Barker, and she has a baby by Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, Oscar De La Hoya. A lot of things oh, going on. Yeah. A lot of things going on. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people taking breaks now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, and you, uh, Jess is still on there. Jessica Canseco. We have Shamika Lawrence, who was married to Martin Lawrence. Really? Ooh. We have uh, Drea Kelly, who was married to um, R. Kelly. Are they single? Who? The, uh, the ladies on the show. Yeah, kind of? actually, but Drea just. Well, I can't tell you what's going on oh, with God, her right God. now. Oh yeah, so, we gotta so wait. Who, we gotta see the I show. Wait. Oh, I yeah. want to know who you have beef with. Mm. Mm. Who is I'll it that tell you, you just I've... can't stand? Who I can't stand? Just write it down. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now I'm having a little problem with Maite. Oh. Maite oh. Garcia was married to Prince. Really? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we get some Prince? Come yeah, on. there you go. <laughs> So my dad was married to Prince. I mean, how? how what? That's weird. Being really? married. I don't know. Prince yeah. was married. Who's taller? What? I didn't know. Yeah, he liked tall. women. I'm sorry. Oh, what? I'm yes. sorry. No. what? Actually, he was married twice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was married twice. Girl. He married uh, Maite first. Would he borrow her heels? Uh, you have to ask Maite <laughs> that one. I, I don't know. Her foot might be a little bigger than his. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fired. Not yes. sure. Ain't 
<laughs> no money. <laughs> so when does the show come on? Like every, you know, let, let, let our listeners know when they can catch it. Well, right now we're shooting our third season and, you know, we're not finished. We're going to mm. probably finish shooting uh, the first week of March. So I don't know. Once they do the whole editing and right. putting it together, I don't know exactly what date it's coming so out. So far, what can we expect from the third season? Third season, you know, there's a lot of drama going on. Mm. There's we some drama. Intense Beautiful. drama. Yes. yes. So how do you tell them what you don't want to talk about or don't want to reveal? Or you know you just... what? I think that's just up to you personally. Mm. It's like whatever you put out there and what you, you mm. give them, you mm. know. And if you give them some 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 juiciness. You can say gonna, bullshit. Yeah, some bullshit. That's it. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> fired that <laughs> box already. Let's break it on out now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's what you put out there. Okay. They'll accept anything you give them. Right. Mm. Right. So you don't ever have to worry about what you're going to look like because you know what Well, I mean, doing. there's there's moments where it's like I've been in cotton situations where it was like, yo, I, I, y'all took it and, and spun it around and I really wasn't doing that. Right. But, you know, it is what it is. Because that's the whole idea behind reality, that you say something and then they take it out of right. context. So do they actually do that? It, sometimes it can happen. Mm. But uh. it's funny. It's funny. I just laugh at it. I just go yeah. with it. Though. Who is your right. show? So, yeah. so can yeah. I, I like it, though. Can I ask a question? Um, so what inspired you to get back into your modeling uh, at the age you know, uh, yeah, I you look actually, beautiful. So. Thank you. I just turned 46. Right. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. You're right. same age. How come you don't look like that? Well, you know, I should. I do <laughs> he drugs. looks great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. He looks I mean, great. You, you eat he heroin great. in the morning. I mean, you know, you eat heroin in the morning and wash it down with some Molly. It's some other time. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I actually started modeling at a very young age, right. at 13 years old. Right. Wow. And then I went off to Europe when I was 17. I was over there doing all the collections for all the top designers and doing editorial work right. as well. So I would travel from to Italy, Paris, all that stuff. And um, after I got married and I had babies, I kind of like put everything on hold. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so now I had this whole thing in my head, you know, I'm older, you get out of the modeling game, it's right. over. Right. But it's not. It's right. not. I get a lot of requests still, and it's like, you know what? Why not do this? Why not right. make some money out of right. it? Right. So. You don't look a day over 30. Why well, aren't you sweet? I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't look a day over 25. How sweet do I look? Uh, if I could no, just get you, I'm trying to get at you now. I don't care. What's up. I'm getting at you today. Can't do that. Yeah, When's your birthday? You got to stop. January 5th. It just oh, happened. Oh, oh, happy okay. <laughs> Capricorn. Yeah. Capricorn. I have babies with Capricorns for some reason. Not, not. Really? I do. Both of my daughter's moms are Capricorn. Wow. Mm. Uh oh. You gotta oh, stop. I, what I'm just, I gotta no, run out the building. Yeah, you might because I'm fertile. <laughs> I said you gotta stop. I'm, I'm fertile. <laughs> Look, young man, you gotta stop. I'm just letting you know I'm fertile. Fertile mm. myrtle. <laughs> uh, the, the, the thing about this, we talked about this last night, um, and we were just uh, you just hanging, you know, just out to eat or whatever like that. And I made a point of saying a beautiful woman has it tough. And sometimes people don't understand it because we look at you and say, you're beautiful. Your whole life is absolutely perfect. You fart sunshine. You, you <laughs> eat paper. You <laughs> shit money. Everything is just absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful day. Correct. Talk about uh, what it takes to be not only a beautiful woman holding yourself together and raising five kids, high profile. Everybody's watching your every move. What's the toughest thing about being you? Being me. Oh, the toughest thing? Yeah. <clears throat> I, well, you know, no, no, no. I think, you know what, that pressure is always on you. Um, and especially now I do have five kids. People are like, oh, how did you get your body back in shape? How's your stomach so flat? So now I got the pressure of keeping my damn stomach flat. So you're doing a workout video. <laughs> I'm actually going to start doing a workout video. It's it's in the process. Um, we're going to get started on it soon. Who's going to so, be one of the girly ones? One of, or is it gonna be, can I get in on it? You know what? Oh, Speedy. I have Speedy. not done it yet. You oh, need to get on it. That's where we are now, Nicole. Fox O Radio, Nicole Murphy's in the building shooting. <laughs> from way downtown, bang. <laughs> from downtown for three, Nicole Murphy. Call, Yo, go time out, Speedy. <laughs> Call in, y'all. Tell us what you think. 855-369-9898. So how close are you with all of your kids? Oh, I'm so close. Right. I think it's so important to have like that open relationship with about we can talk about anything. Right. Wow. Anything. So My your kids, daughter would come in and say, Hey, anything you know. come down to sex, anything. Really? Wow. Whatever. Well, what do you what tell the, your kid about sex? I yeah. just well, if she asks me a question, I'm gonna tell her the honest 
answer. I rather, but what I rather, it? <laughs> it just depends on what it is, yeah, you know. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat anything yeah. when it comes to that because I rather her hear it from me, Correct. even though it's uncomfortable. Yeah. I rather he, her get the whole true message from my, her mother than some stranger yeah, or some girl that yeah. doesn't even know what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, the internet. Or the internet. Which is where I get my information. <laughs> 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 but do you have a more, spe- do you have any favorites? No. Or do you have I, anyone that you well, kick right, it with? Oh, right now, no, 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 no. no some you of you were like, is. I don't stand on my phone. Okay. This, <laughs> I don't you know can, how you, he came out of me. Right. Me. You can love them all the same, but you can always have a favorite. Yeah, but right now, okay, right now, I think, I'm holding on to my little one yeah. because she's she's about to turn 12. Aww. That's my last baby. So right oh, now it's like I'm, I'm still trying to baby right. her, right. Right. and I don't want to let that that go because I'm like, damn, now I want another baby. But well, I got then five, I'm like, I got a five. Well, I ain't doing nothing later. Yeah. <laughs> we have got a lot to spare. I right? happen to have a spare penis. <laughs> here. I, I could loan, loan you. you. <laughs> Need Let's it bring back, it back by 12 midnight. I got some other clients. <laughs> Fox Hole Radio, 855-369-9898. We're here with Nicole Murphy. We're going to take a break, and we're coming right back to find out some secrets. Uh Yo, we are back. It's Fox Hole Radio, baby. Call in, 855-369-9898 is the number to call into. And uh, We're here with Nicole Murphy. Therefore, I am naked from the waist down, but she can't see that. Mm. It ain't much to see. Uh, (laughs) How would you know? (laughs) Cliff Powell just walked walked in. Cliff Powell is in the building. It's going down. Uh, We're here with Nicole Murphy. Uh, I talked about secrets. I talked about secrets uh, before we went on. And she was like, oh, my goodness, secrets. Yeah. She's worried about what I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, what's the secret for a woman who's had five children Ooh. staying in shape? Well. I'll tell you mine. Okay, I'm going to tell you mine first, though. <laughs> okay, I think when I was pregnant, I always had this vision of what I'm going to look like after I have a baby. Mm-hmm. So I would always take the jeans that I was wearing originally, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, I'm going to get back into these jeans mm-hmm. within a week. Mm-hmm. That was wow. just my focus. Yeah. And within a week, I was back into my clothes. Yeah. But I think it's all about how you feel about yourself, and I never wanted to let it go. Mm-hmm. Just because I had babies and I was married, mm-hmm. I didn't want to get comfortable and mm-hmm. just be like, whatever, and be like, Look like Speedy. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. want to still look good for my man. <laughs> right. right. And for me. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Right. Yeah, I try. And, always, for, and for me. Yeah, and for you. <laughs> Thank you. Can, I, can I ask a question? Yes. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Um, right. So, after having five children, how do you keep it kind of tight, like in there? Like, how did it stay in where? Time? In there? Yeah. Like yeah. The, yeah. That just goes back naturally. Oh, no, so, no. so, it do pop back, right? It pops yes. back. The so, Nicole Murphy snap back. <laughs> wow. The Nicole Murphy. Get the, get the, get the song snap back. The no, snap back. That should be in your workout video. Snap back. That should be in your workout yeah, video. You should call it Get the, the Fucking Shit. <laughs> So get in one time. Get in fucking the last, shape. The last thing, the that, last thing you need is to fall in there. Goose, yeah. you don't want to oh, do that. Oh God! Um, so we want to. That's I have problem. not had a complaint. So ah, guess man. what? Oh, well, 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 my goodness. <laughs> no, shut up. I don't know where to go with that one. Now, my man. I fall. It. Oh, Wait, ahead. I want to ask you. So a lot of people are watching you on TV, and they're like, "She has five kids. Can I just get in shape by working out?" I mean, is there surgeries? Because it's. it's... I never had surgery to get yeah. like my stomach flat or anything yeah. like that. Wow. I refuse to do it. Never. Get in Never. fucking shape. And a lot of people assume that. It's not the case with me. And you had your uh, natural birth, no sensation. I had in all it. natural. Oh, that's incredible. That's, you know what? That you know. gives me hope. <laughs> so, so is, is there some kind of cream that you use on your stomach to keep it? Because I see a lot of girls and they have like yeah, they have the stretch marks. Yeah. Mine, I, I actually have like maybe four Where? stretch marks. They're real low. Can They're we, like I can, can wear we a bikini, you would never know. Uh, we, no, you cannot I see it. I do appreciate it. Ah, damn, give me some of the goddamn Moscato I've been exactly. up there. <laughs> Shit, I'll fuck around, go to jail. Up here. <laughs> you got Eddie, this nigga is crazy up here. Come yeah. send somebody you to come stop get this nigga. You <laughs> have to. Stop. Stop. Tell Eddie to send a helicopter to come get me. Yeah. I'm out of control. Hysterical. Talk about the alcohol. Mm. Yes, I am actually representing a brand. It's called Destiny Moscato. Yeah. Mm. And mm. it's really good. That I have like a, a, uh, Can we get some of that? Yes, Open yes. Some of this it's up. Pear. I want to try it. It's I pear. 
It's pear. It's pear. It's pear. You mus- can order it online on destinymoscato.com. Okay. And then I also got one. It's called, what's, well, it's, it's going to be Boss. Yeah. Boss. And it's a, Boss. it's vodka and Moscato mix. Boss. Because oh men, men tend to want something a little stronger. You ain't got no virgin Moscato? No. I'm a drink. <laughs> Well, oh, I'll well. put it to you this way. I love the name. It almost sound like it almost sound like like a a a, a, a group. Yeah. Give it up for destiny. Destiny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> One night only. Now this isn't the original bottle or the label. We're still in the beginning oh, process. And, I, I and on my show, up on it. give it to me. Yeah, on Hollywood X's, we are. You'll see me in the process of dealing with the whole oh, Destiny dude, Moscato, dude, get on. picking out the bottle and the label, product placement. Yes. Uh-huh. So I mean, we're it's, casual it's, drinking. It's interesting. Jay. We're having fun. Don't get fucked up. Casual I'm not gonna drinking. get fucked up. Casual I haven't drinking. had anything to eat though. Casual drinking. <laughs> You know, you know how we drink. Remember to call into us. Yeah, it's 855 369 Don't drink it. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, you're doing it all. You're also the ambassador. Oh, yeah. Claire All Classic Collection Ooh. hair color. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so I just. There's very that. few women that can pull off that haircut. I mean, uh, yeah. you got to have like the perfect head. Right. I mean, Halle Berry and you are probably the only oh, ones. Gee. I'm sure there's others. But, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, I done popped off. Uh, Nicole. Uh, Nicole. You done bust this mascara. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, I read something where your daughter is the, the face of Dark and Lovely or something like that. Yes, that? yes. Bria Murphy, she is the Dark and Lovely. Uh, um, Passing the mascara. Girl, yeah, she does the hair for That's what cool. is it? Dark and lovely. Dark and lovely. Laura. She said, I don't know. What yeah. it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep up. Yeah. I got five kids. I got she's my like, stuff. Yeah. All this stuff going on. I hear you. She's doing some but shit. But no, she's she, she making money. The, yeah. yeah, she has she has a um, contract with. Them. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Nicole, you started modeling really young. So your daughters, you support them if they want to start really young. Absolutely. Isn't it a tough well, world out there? It is. It is. But it's it's interesting. You said that. I actually. Shane, who's 19, and Bria, who's 24, they are that's both... Nice. That's nice and sweet. They're both into modeling now. Right. But yeah. they decided to do that on their own. But I just let them know, you know... Even I'm, that young. Hey, well, 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 I started younger. Yeah. So they're but, starting a little let, older. Let me ask you this. Is it, is it is it pressure for them? Pressure? Like, Or do you alleviate that pressure? Like, you know, you know what? what? Having a kid, like like, like I show, mom, like I show, like I show my youngest daughter all my movies, and I say, "Hey, you better get your get your weight up." You see, this is what you <laughs> right, right. Because right. uh, you know what? Don't, what's don't come interesting in here though about. is that Bria, she's into acting, right. and Bria, she could easily go through the daddy door, mm-hmm. you know, right. and get mm. get jobs or whatever. Mm. But she is so stubborn, mm. and she's like, "No, I want to do it like everybody else." And wow. she goes on auditions, That's and great. she's like, "If I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it on my own." What about the looks though? Because if my mom was as hot as you I, and dudes at my school are like, oh, man, your mom's hot. Like, I would not want to hear that, you know? Really? It, I mean, I, I, I'd rather have like, that than the opposite. Yeah, damn, I'd rather, you know, rather have that than like, whose mom is that? God <laughs> yeah. damn. Man. It could with be the, pressure. Hold on, it, it, With it the old be, car. It could be pressure for the girl that's trying to. <laughs> who's the, the old car? Who, <laughs> oh, from the daughters? <laughs> yeah, if your daughter, your daughter's trying She's to model. Beautiful. Right, no, but you know what? They are, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. got understand They're celebrities don't always have good looking oh, kids you've right. seen that and i was on the other side of that my daddy came to what the school happened? in the black sock i just said i'm gonna make straight a's because this your daddy wasn't real oh sorry <laughs> yeah no the, the thank god there's strong and women right. yeah and that's the thing is like the more you support them it, you know it doesn't matter but like i said you know like in 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 our business you know the good looking <clears throat> a celebrity couple don't always I know I've had it hard always That's pan true. out you know what I'm saying because I've seen a couple looking. of them where you've been like woo, woo. <laughs> you got the you, you got can't the, name names though you got the why not don't name drop <laughs> you can't do that you got the you got the chin but that nose went to so the baby out. is a hard sell it's a tough sell baby <laughs> dinosaur we're with Nicole Murphy mm. we are tasting her Holy alcohol I just had to, you, you bought it have to stop I just had to swap Mm. Uh, Stop. Pause. Uh, Pause. uh, So, what do you think? uh, uh. It's good. Very smooth. Smooth. I feel like this. It turned you on. You turned on. (laughs) I'm kind of turned on. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't drink the Viscato. That was like the vodka. I drank the girl shit. Whatever you you did. I just feel. I feel very same sex. 
Okay. You know, this is very nice. Right, you know, right. And the more you drink this, ladies, the more me and Speedy look attractive. Oh, my wow. goodness. And what? that's always a good thing. And that's, you know that's not we always like Boris thing. Kojo and Idris Elba. That's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nicole, what's next on the horizon? Mm. Well, right now, just working. I'm doing my, like I said, I'm doing the show and... Yeah. We'll see what happens from mm. there. Hollywood yeah. X is third season. Okay. Yeah. Hollywood I'm X really is. losing it because you keep looking at me. And I, she, I'm she, too, she I'm don't have a crush on her. Hold up, hold up. Speedy, she don't have a crush on me. Well, well here's the thing. <laughs> She's wondering she what's going it. on. She's like, I, I can, wonder what can, is going I, on over here. I can That's reach this. Nicole, this. do you believe in polygamy? <laughs> Because as I'm drinking this Moscato, I'm just thinking we should move to Utah. You, Michael, me. You know you what I'm saying? You cannot do you that. You can just have multiple husbands. And they don't ever talk about multiple husbands. They don't. They right. always talk about multiple wives. You're right. I'm just saying, I could be, you know, I could, you, you can you schedule can't. me in from Thursdays. You can't do that. That's almost a threesome. Thursdays. But look, I'm it's saying, almost a threesome, Jay. Stop I'm gonna just I'm going to hit Mike and say, hey, man, look. I, you know, I'm just feeling something. This Moscato got me. You feeling some type feeling of way? Some, can we get some type of way? That some type funny. of way. Some we can go to Utah way. and make this thing happen. But I want to say thank you for coming out. Hey, I want to ask one more thing, Jay, and then I'm done. Uh, don't you have like a, a jury line or something like that? Yes, yes. it's called FLP by Nicole Murphy. Okay, Ooh. FLP yeah, by Nicole Murphy. It means friendship, love, and peace. Wow. Where could we? Yeah. Where could we find it? I thought it meant FLP. I thought it meant. Com, or NicoleMurphy.com. You'll see it. What? And then you can check out my. My website is the real oh, NicoleMurphy.com. The real NicoleMurphy.com. The real yeah. NicoleMurphy.com. Yeah. I want to see that jewelry. FLP. FLP. Fuck your mother. FLP. Stop FLP. 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 Go get some. Go get some. What is it? What is it? It's fun, love, and peace. Friendship, love, and peace. Friendship, friendship, love, and peace. Friendship, love, and peace. Stop the music. Friendship, love, and peace. Stop the music. Friendship, love, and peace. Win the morning. Friendship, love, and peace. Friendship, love, and peace. Nicole Murphy. Friendship, love, and peace. Better known as Friendship, love, and peace. Add that to the workout. Friendship, love, and peace. Add that to the workout video. Friendship, love, and peace. Your keyboard's on. Friendship, love, and peace. Fish. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Call Thank us. You. Tell us what you yeah. think. Eight five five three six nine nine eight nine eight. It's a foxhole. And if you have a website or something, you yeah, it's called the real Nicole Murphy dot com. Hit that. I'm Check it, it out. I'm gonna be on there. Friendship, love, and uh, peace. Hey. You can't do that. Is that your Wish Instagram? <laughs> it, my Instagram is Nikki N I K I Murphy. What's your phone number? <laughs> 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 310 Oh, shit. Do you have that record? No, Do you have, if you got that record, then get She needs some more Destiny Moscato. That's what I'm saying. Sip some more of that because you're not giving out the right number to me. Hey, you baseline on that. You you Ladies and gentlemen, this has been fantastic. We've chance. had Nicole Murphy now. She's blessed us. She's hung out with us and allowed us to be allowed us to be ourselves. We'll let you come. We'll let you we'll let you off the hook now. Sorry. Uh, and uh God bless you, man. Like when I when I look when we see you out there, you, you do it so fantastic. You make it look you make it look classy. Well, you know thank you. Saying? Thank you. And at the same time, don't get it twisted. She ain't tight and all up tight like that. We've been out at clubs and seen her with Michael. She know how to get down. Hood in her. She got a little hood in it. She will call you a nigga in a minute. Nigga, what? I, you were, can I tell this story? Yes, can I tell yes, this? yes, so, yes. So I'm, I'm going to say this, this, one, this one little thing. I never, ever approached Nicole Murphy in my life. Okay. I would always see her be like, like a shy dude, like, God. Damn, and it just, I just run away, right? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're at Bezos yes. at a at a uh, 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 Eva Longoria's place, correct. right? Vegas. She comes in with this black, uh, it was black stripe, stripe to yeah. Tell it, you tell it. I had a black and white Talk slow stripe now. Talk slow. top, yeah, and a black pencil s skirt on. Mm. Tight. Number two pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what eraser on the bottom? Oh! <laughs> my weenie baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, keep on drinking the Moscato. <laughs> Goddamn. Go so, so I see her and I said, Goddamn, I can't. And this is this is when you just started seeing Mike, so I wasn't right. being disrespectful. Right. Because right. I didn't really know what the lay of the land was. But I finally got up enough courage to go up to her and say, Damn, Nicole. <laughs> And this is how I knew she was hood. I said, damn, Nicole, it's like that. She said, nigga, it's always been like that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you better, you better understand what the fuck I'm saying. I was like, I God right. damn, nigga. I 
no, no, absolutely, no, no, no. absolutely uh, the most classic line I've ever heard <laughs> from a beautiful right. woman. Thank you. Yeah. Nicole Murphy, Fox Thank Show Radio, 855 369 Let us know. We coming back with Cliff Powell in the building. Hey. I live brawls at the mall. We are back. It's Fox Hole Radio, baby. The number to call into is 855-369-9898. And I got a fabulous picture with uh, Nicole Murphy that I'm going to be posting above my bed. Yeah, don't don't post this speech. No, I'm put that. Post it above your bed, man. Yeah, I'm put that above my bed. That's that's. I I, I just want to let. Well, since Nicole is gone now, I can just talk any kind of way I want to. Now, say I wanna, it. Oh say no, it. shit, she's right there. She's, she's right, right there. there. Oh, my yeah. bad, my bad, my she's bad. Finest. Look at look hey, at fuck. it, looking like a. You know, so I, I'm strictly dickly, but damn, I we think should, that. Yeah. She would Are you really? Are you? <laughs> she would definitely turn me out. Is that right? Sure. But what would you? What would you do? Would you be the one? No, I'm not gonna tell you the details. Well, we just need to. I don't want to know. We she bring it up now. All of a sudden, we. <laughs> I mean, I'm strict to dick, but I'll eat a gang of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Oh, niggas. I know y'all ain't. Uh, uh, I know y'all ain't accusing me of being a Okay. It's between me and her. I just want to know okay, if you're going to be the eater or the provider. Be- whatever, dude. <laughs> what you mean, whatever? You know Lucy. what you want to It's not that. <laughs> Did you say Lucy? <laughs> Lucy. So let me ask you this. Would, would you? I mean, I've definitely. Definitely. Yeah, you, you she's take that on. Stunning. She's stunning. Mm-hmm. She's I need mm-hmm. me a woman like that. This a classy, a little... yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. and she's pouring drinks. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. She's sick. I think we should call this uh. the fuck Michael Strahan show. Oh, oh, oh we can't do that. Uh, this, no. that that's oh. Cliff, that's <laughs> Cliff Powell. That's hey Mike, Cliff, I love you, Mike, but goddamn it, Cliff you ain't here. Powell. That's Cliff Powell. That's Cliff Powell. Hey Mike, love. I'm just saying you ain't here. But I am winking at it. She is pouring drinks right now. Mike, you know I love you and respect you. We love you, Mike, too, but uh shit. Yeah, nigga. This Hollywood. <laughs> in the house. Could you could you find the song when you're in love with a beautiful woman? <laughs> gotta watch your friends. Gotta watch your friends. Gotta in, watch in the your house. Friends. Very talented actor. Uh, it's been around for a minute. Uh, Cliff Powell. Stop lying. House. I've been around since Harriet Tubman was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Somebody said you look like one of the whispers. <laughs> I said that. that Beijing no, no, my nigga got the darkest mustache in the world hey, right now. Said Beijing. I, I, I know one thing. When you pull that goddamn uh, gun out and hit that nigga at the top of the stairs, <laughs> wow. and that nigga fell down, and you Suck walked it, down them goddamn stairs and said, Suck it, Santa Claus. <laughs> she fucking good, nigga. Can we, find, can we find that clip? Can we find that clip? Cuddy. 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 The Cuddy, Cuddy clip from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Dead, Dead, Presidents. Dead Presidents. Suck it, nigga. Oh, Suck, that, ooh. Suck it, nigga. And you, I talked you know, to you about that one you know, time. You, know you said I, that was somebody you knew in your neighborhood, right? No, 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 no. But I did grow up in a tough neighborhood. But you know what I watched when I did that movie? I watched John Malkovich in a, mm. in a Line of Fire. Wow. Because John Malkovich made himself Clint Eastwood's friend in that movie. Mm-hmm. And right. then he flipped on him. Right. Wow. And then the Hughes brothers allowed me to add, you know, they were so cool. They allowed right. me to add the dimension where Cuddy was like trying to be his friend. Like, I, I you know, I took care of your girl when you, you was in the, the war. Do the voice. Do I took care of your girl, young blood. Now, you know, come back, I'm stepping off. And, and then the nigga said, fuck you, you stepping off, fuck you, fuck my girl. I said, and then I then I turn around, I said, I don't want no trouble. And I added that part, and I turned back and popped that motherfucker in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked down the steps, and I said, I try to be a friend, motherfucker. And that's when the shit just turns. Ooh, but wow. but I get nigga, the... you taking me there right hey. now. Man. <laughs> right. I, mean, I got popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Jay, we were just talking about that. You were saying uh, like it's yesterday different. about it's, it's, it's different. It, 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 we were talking about uh, the type of actors mm-hmm. that you, Tyron, mm-hmm. Renz, mm-hmm. uh, Speedy. Uh, speaking <laughs> uh, back in the day, it, it was just different. It was different types of material. Mm-hmm. Right. The material, I believe, was better. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, we've just we've sort of flattened out. We've come one dimensional, and you know, I'm hoping that we get back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Speaking of old movies. <laughs> Oh, this nigga look like uh, Cotton Cup in Harlem. Oh, oh, across you gotta, 110th you Street. Give him, give, him, give him the mic. Give da, da, da. Him the, All right, don't play Johnny Mac. I fucking had up. I'm sorry, Johnny Mac. I lost where I was for a second. <laughs> He's got walking make, into, he's make walk into, he got make his walk into, Johnny Mac. What's up, you, Fox? Turn, turn him up. Turn his mic up. <laughs> Go ahead. What's going on, Jamie? Fox? Turn it all the way up. <laughs> Turn it all the way up. Turn his mic up fuck, loud. He better ahead, fuck me ahead, up. Johnny. I know you're fucked me up. I ain't gonna fuck nobody up. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Now, I cannot Damn believe. Us. I want you to read this shirt, gentlemen. 
He can't read. <laughs> you get your ass up, you, you go to the club, club and you, you get, get your, your own bitches. <laughs> Should be the last page of the Bible, right? <laughs> Johnny Mac is in the building. What's going on, Man, traffic is a motherfucker. Awesome. That's well, well, Johnny, we don't really care as long as you're here. <laughs> <laughs> you still doing that? You got to do the same shit all the time, Johnny. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Love the jacket. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like a three-year-old. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. Fuck dressed like a hand puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have said I knew I should have said Shit about hey, Johnny Mac I thought he broke his eye like, What the fuck Sticking with this bit of hoodie jacket on What's up Clifton Pop What's up Johnny Mac <laughs> Sorry What's, like, What's up, up Fizzle What up baby We were sitting there waiting on you But in between time We got Clifton Powell And we were talking about <laughs> His incredible acting And dead presence And all of what he does We were also talking about how movies have changed. How do you think movies have changed, especially black movies? How do you think that they've changed since, uh, you know, the 90s, you know? Uh, it's still like digital now. age now. I think it's just gotten fluffier. Because, you know, there's no, somebody was saying the other day about the sequels that they're doing, maybe a Dead Presidents or mm -hmm. Menace or some of those type movies. And I just think the edge is gone, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just, and I'm not knocking not, nothing is out, but it's, it's we'll you know, it's, it's, it's all, you know, yeah, romantic comedies. And, and it's nothing, you know, other than Ray. It's not a lot of drama for African Americans right now, you know. Speaking of that, <clears throat> um, Ride Along did uh, fourteen five. Last fourteen night. five, Kevin Hart. But the reviews yeah. are not really good. They're not really liking it. They don't Who's like. Not it? They're not really. Who's not liking it? Everyone out there is not like really liking it. Fourteen point five million. Somebody likes it. Somebody's liking it. Fuck that. Fourteen point five. It's, 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 like it. it's, it's, it. it's, 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 it's estimated to do like I mean, between thirty nine and forty two mil. Yeah, that's forty two. I million. take that any day in the week. Yeah, it's I think they were going to check it out, but I don't think they liked it when they came out of it. I'm trying to forty two million. Forty two million. We gotta support our black film. I saw it. I saw it twice. Can I? You like it? Look, I saw it twice. What did you think? I think we all. I think it's fair. It's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. It's funny. Right. You should go see it. Everybody should go see it. It's really, really funny. I think it's a great story. I think it's you should check it out. Fantastic. I've yeah. seen it twice right. myself. What it yeah. does, what it does, is it just makes it better for more black people to Amen. come out, man. That's so that's right. we support that, man. Oh, yeah. 40, All day. Forty-two million. Great job, yeah. Kevin. Great, great job. Great job. It's now, that's, funny, that, funny that, yo, I mean, that's huge. That's, that's huge. That's humongous. He's that on every billboard right that now. Is that's huge. You said 14 right million or 42 million? It did it made, 14. It made 14. 14.5. Okay. Friday. Okay. So the so, numbers ain't in for Saturday, but they estimated to make between 39, 39 and 42. That's not bad. That's huge. That's great. That's, great. that's, that's a huge. black film. That's a black film. Huge. That's huge. Universal. Man, he is wow. definitely everyone's favorite right now. Wow. He's, he's it's absolutely. number one at the box office right now. What can we say? You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, that's, and, and, and I think that's a great way to start the uh, Martin Luther King weekend. For sure. How about that? Have y'all seen the thing with Martin Luther King uh, at the twerking, uh, Freedom to Twerk? Uh, show him the thing no, I sent you clip. And Martin terrible. Luther King got the uh, uh, medallion around his neck. <laughs> it looked like it was terrible. It was horrible. It was downright terrible. It's horrible. I think Dr. King's probably turning over his grave. No, I'm turning over mine. It's, it's downright these, terrible. With these ratchet Negroes are doing out here to his holiday. But you know what it's too, you know what it says, though, too? Like the uneducation of what we are. We don't have any education about Martin Luther yeah, King. A lot of times yeah. when you talk about younger African Americans, so somebody who's 18, 19, 20, 25, yeah. they yeah. don't really know who Martin Luther King yeah. is. They don't know what it what, what it was for. about. So when they Correct. when they do things like that, they just, you know... They just going on what they things people don't know about. Yeah, just, they just yeah. have no idea. It's incredible. Uh, uh, but but for your but for, for for those out there who who don't know, it's 50 years that Martin Luther King marched mm -hmm. uh, civil rights movement where he marched on Washington. Right. It's been 50 years. Uh, Julian Bond, Jesse uh, uh, Jackson, Harry right. Belafonte, mm -hmm. and a little bit of history of that is that Harry Belafonte was actually the one who bailed Martin Luther King out of jail. Wow. So he could actually uh, march because what they did was is that they put uh, Martin Luther King in jail to sort of keep him from marching. Correct. And then once he marched, a lot of people don't understand that the civil rights movement was not just for African Americans. It was for Jews. It was for right. women. It was for everybody. Right. And uh, so, uh, so when you when you're making your flyers and you're making your jokes and everything like that, I know that it's probably coming from a. Being place funny. of what you think is being right. funny yeah. Yeah. but there are people out there who you know find it offensive yeah. because 
we don't have any balance. We yeah. don't have the yeah. huge push of African Americans right. right now right. celebrating the 50 years. Right, right. We, we sort of <laughs> so, so, relax. So you've done a lot of you've done a lot of research. I see on uh, Dr. And, Martin Luther King. Yes, so I want to ask you a question because a lot yeah. of people there's been a lot of rumors that you may take on that. I, I don't I'm know. Not, I think I think I think the Martin Luther King story is a, right. Turn it down just a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I think the Martin Luther King story is a tough story to tell. Right. Because yeah. you don't want to do anything that's going to. <laughs> Uh, uh, bring a bad light to right. to to mm-hmm. such an iconic uh, figure. figure, and I think that if you do tell the story, you have to tell it in the most real way. And I don't know if everyone is really ready uh, for, for that. But I asked Harry Belafonte about it, uh, you know, about the certain rumors and everything that that it, that uh, right. that had happened, and said, "Well, you know, uh, you know, being a black preacher, <laughs> there are things that uh, please, David, that are please, there, please. and uh, you know, he was a real man." Uh, we all were. We were young. And women liked us. And, uh, and that's that. So he, 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 uh-uh. he, he put it in. Jamie Foxx, baby. He put, he, put it in, he put it in perspective. But I, for one, I don't, I think, I don't look like Marley. You know who I want to do? What I, story I would like to He's take on. He's a quad fighter. I would like to take on the, 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 the Mike Tyson story. <laughs> you do have a little mic in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got it. You know, you know, I was, I was yeah. like, uh, oh, she got hit in the ocean today. I think, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> White guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn it back on. Pete Carroll. I'm not on? Pete yeah, Carroll. Pete Carroll. Carroll. You on. <laughs> Nigga, did you say Pete Carroll? <laughs> Turn Johnny Mang on. Uh, I'm on. You know, yeah, uh, go ahead, I, go I was online the other day, and uh, when, when the first time I saw my father die, cry mm-hmm. was when I lived in D.C., and I came home, <laughs> and he and, and I he said, got your report card? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. And, and my father sitting at the table, and he's, he was crying, and I said, what's wrong? He said, Dr. King got shot. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. incredible. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the Huffington Post just got in contact with me because they're doing a story on all the men who played Dr. King. Did you play? And, and then, but yeah, but I went online and did the research on the conspiracy to kill Dr. King. Mm-hmm. If you go online and just look at how it was such a setup, mm-hmm. it'll just really whack mm-hmm. your mind out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, for those who don't know, uh, he got called back to Memphis. He had already said, I've mm-hmm. been there. It didn't yeah. work. Yeah. And they said, well, can you come back one more mm-hmm. time? Mm-hmm. And then he, when he came back is when he got killed. Let me just tell you what else. They had a, they didn't want him at the Lorraine Motel. They had another hotel yeah. for him. Mm-hmm. And then they had him in a back room on the other side mm-hmm. that they switched. And then they took all of his African-American cops, you know, back in the 60s, mm-hmm. off of his detail. Mm-hmm. It was just all a setup. And, and it's just more stuff in there. And when you read about him and you read about Kennedy, but especially King, you know, he, he, there's a book called The FBI and Dr. King mm-hmm. that you've got to read because it'll let you know, like when you play Dr. King, they want me to write a, a passage about what it was like. There's no, really no words to describe to play him. Right. You know, right. I, the lady, what was your process in, in that? Man. Take your time. The same... It's weird because, you know, I grew up in that era. Yeah. And my neighborhood was burning up, like, within 15 minutes. Wow. So it's really apropos, like, watching you and Ray. Right. I told somebody the other day, um, the first time I saw you doing that scene with Carrie and we went yeah. in, the, in the house, mm-hmm. I never sat in the scene and watched the actor create something and then Jamie would create it and then come out and do 20 minutes of jokes and then go right back into Ray. Mm-hmm. It's almost like doing King, like... You 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 you're not Ray Charles. I'm right. not Dr. King. So the uh, one of the white reporters, she said, "Do you feel like you've embodied the essence of Dr. King?" And I said, "No, mm. I'm an actor. Right. There's no way I could have lived with the threat of death every day." Yeah. He knew he was going to die when he went to Memphis. Yeah. Uh, his, you know, uh, Dr. Kennedy's favorite poem was a rendezvous with death. Wow. You know, King knew he was going to die, mm-hmm. um, and and just the kind of threats that he got every day. The FBI sent Coretta pictures and all kinds of... Abernathy turned on him and started talking to him. So he lived with all of that hatred every right. day. Mm-hmm. And and I think as actors, we, yeah. we take that on. So I just did my research. Right. And what I tried to do is find the essence of Dr. King. Right. And in doing that, you know, like you study Ray's yeah. mannerisms, but mm-hmm. you, caught, you caught the essence of what Ray was. And his, and his daughter came to me while we were shooting and said, you're the first actor that has ever captured the essence of my dad. Can you and I give think, us a little bit, the king? Get us some spiritual music right now. Okay. Oh, y'all crazy. Sorry about the honey. Y'all gonna make me cry get, for get me, Give me a Take Me to the King. Yes, you know what's really funny? Like when you're playing Ray, yeah. and when, we, when you're doing Ray, 
and 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 you just have spiritual moments where you know you 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 just become that character. You know. All right, ready? Let's go. DJ Elway. No. Let's take me DJ. to the king. What's it? Uh, take me to the king. DJ always. I don't have much to bring. We should be DJ. What's the girl's name? DJ sometime. <laughs> <laughs> DJ ambient. Put on Precious Lord. That was his favorite song. When is it? No, he ain't got all of it. Man, it's Campbell good. man. So, so you know, you know. Well, let's let's get back to that. It's the same process, Jamie. Watching you, um, you just get into if you if you from the Stanislavski method, the way we were trained. Mm -hmm. If you get into the internal mental of the character, the mm -hmm. physical comes next. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But once you capture the essence, mm -hmm. then you just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. You know, Dr. King, I studied his manner. I went back to Eyes on the Prize. Mm -hmm. So when I went into the audition, my picture came across Ruben's desk. And he said, you used to playing bad guys. How did you end up in here? He said, well, let me hear what you did. And so I stayed up the whole night watching Eyes on the Prize and got a suit, made my mustache like Dr. King, and just had the speech memorized right. and, and got the essence, you know? Mm -hmm. Can you give it to mm -hmm. him? Now, like anybody... I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. As I left Atlanta this morning, there were six of us on the plane. The pilot set over the public address system. We have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the plane. So we've had the plane protected and guarded all night. Then we got into Memphis, and I began to hear some talk about what would happen to me from some of my sick right brothers. I'm trying to well, I don't know what will happen now, but where are we've got some difficult days ahead. I'm, all I'm really not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. He has allowed me to go up to the mountaintop. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. Now I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. I have a dream. I have a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I've been to the mountaintop now. Now I've looked over. Now I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. I have a dream. Wow. Woo! That's fantastic, bro. That's fantastic. Sound like Barry Bonds a little bit. Fantastic. Oh, oh the check. Well, you know, wow. I, think, I think, Jamie, you know. Hey, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me cry, man. You can't, you can't just do that shit to a nigga. We got to soak hey, that in. You made me call myself a nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all are so crazy. Never hey, call first, 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 you know what? We were talking about young let, people being ignorant. No, let, there's no leaders now that let, are doing let me, that. Let me just say this. That was absolutely amazing. Because, wow. you know, I'm always the one to do the joke. Right. Oh, wow. And for, for a second... For that whole moment, now I understand what, what what we were talking about the other day. It's 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 not just the caliber of talent, right. but it's the dedication to the talent. Wow. And you know, we may not get back there. You know, we may not get back there, but I think it's up to us to get back to to, to that man. That's absolutely fantastic. It's Foxhole Radio. We're gonna take a break and come back. Gotta take a break. Gotta take a break. That's Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell. 855 369 9898. That was absolutely amazing. Wow. 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 Play that one, Greg. You're a whole lot better than Speedy. Hey. <laughs> we'll come back and have him do the pinky line. When we come back. <laughs> Shut up, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Foxhole Radio, baby. This is my favorite song in the fucking world. Number to call into is 855-369-9898. This show is off the chain. It's 2014. 2014. 
every is, little step you doing take, it. Every little step, <laughs> step every little step <laughs> speedy takes in the kitchen. <laughs> Why did it take you so I can't long to get that? Eat at night. Like, I can't <laughs> eat that. <night. laughs> Sit down, Jay, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Get that man a stool or something, man. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Mac. Sit in your lap. I got gas. Johnny Mac. Here you go. Yeah, go sit on Fox lap. Come on, Speedy. Yeah, the the fuck on. Is that? Wow. Come on, no Come on, no ocean. Stop. Stop. Uh, Stop. Uh, ain't nobody left. We, no we just had, we just had, we just had Cliff the Power on, who was absolutely amazing. That was wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I uh, can I get? I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga ain't worried about nothing. I need to, yeah, I want to stay. Say, 2014, it is Saturday. We have Plethora. so many yeah. stars. Yeah. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there, bud. We got to get. Nigga, AP, you want to come over here? Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. Yeah. I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. Thank you, Alan. All right, so do the introduction. We got very talented. Singer and actress. She was on your show. Yes. And can sing her right? butt off. We're gonna do it and anyway. homeboys in outer space. <laughs> Thank you. Gotta keep, gotta keep it on <laughs> Yeah. That's my first show. Rona in the house. How, How you doing, beautiful? Rona Bennett. Up. Bennett. You are, yeah, yeah. I remember you were on Jamie's show and I was like, damn, she is fine. Remember that song? No. <laughs> no, Speedy, it's your story. I actually don't remember that, Speedy. It's your goddamn story. It's your story, nigga. Speedy. Speedy. Wow. Stay focused. Stay focused. Rona, how have you been? You saw this studio. Are you going to come in here and, and lay something for us? I would love to. Turn the music down. Can, she can, can, we, can oh, we get a little something? I knew, I knew you can were going to try to put me on the spot, the Ron, and Ron, I am so not feeling that just, confident just, right now. Listen, oh, you don't have to feel I'm being very I, I honest with you. Don't, don't even worry about yeah. it. Just give you us a little something. You sing with me. You just give us anything. Give us, give us jump a, I'll, I'll jump in. Jingle bells. Remember when we did, um, if I'm not at home, leave a message for me. I'm trying to link with you. So we can hook up tonight. I don't know, remember. You remember that? <laughs> Nigga, but I was gone, but I was gone. No, I have my, my finger <laughs> pop. You Show your love it. for Ashy and Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha Cole Slaw, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I so don't remember. Shit, we can we can cut some new shit. Though. I would love to. Man, we got some new. Yes. Now, what have been what have you been up to? I've been singing with the ladies of Invoke off and on for a decade now. Nice. Wow. And wow. um, I'm doing a musical called Car Wash. We're literally workshopping it and building wow. it from the ground up. Hey, Peter you Wise cast in that? Didn't Peter yes, oh, Peter yeah. Wise has, yeah. has wow. casted that. It's There's an awesome talent in there. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And, it's, and it's, car, it's Car Wash. Yes, so it's uh, so Rolls singing. Royce and um, singing those songs? all of them. Yeah, yes. I want to get Chronicling the life of Norman Whitfield. Hmm. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Who's Who's Tony Terry is uh, Norman Whitfield. He's still alive. He's still alive. You gotta give me some Tony Terry. Yeah. Lovey dovey feeling like it. You can only give one song. <laughs> lovey dovey. No, no he had lovey dovey. He had head over heels. No I was no head. He had head over heels. I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. Right I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No head. And he's still singing his face song. And I'm with you. Mm. Damn, sweet. I hear a song. Table 14, your fish dinner's ready. <laughs> Speedy Pendergrass. For, for, for a better singing in the drive-by. <laughs> we can call it Speedy Pendergrass. Speedy Pendergrass. <laughs> All right, break it down, break it down. So, so, so we're doing car wash. We're yes. doing. We're singing with Envo. Mm. Are we working on your solo album? I just uh, created a show called Revealed with Rona, which is an interviewing platform. I'd love to have you on. Mm. I would love to be on there. <laughs> Pitch it, baby. And, um, How much y'all paying? Trying to get my checks. Trying to pay for all this shit. Oh shit! Another legend! Oh shit, Carl Jr. Carl Jr. Another legend. And Carl Jr. Carl Boy for real. Hey. Damn. I'm on the run, G. We got receivers in the house tonight. I'm on the run. Uh oh. We got we got Ram and Cobb and T.O. in the building right now. Hey, we racing. We racing. in the building. We got a race. I got T.O. 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 Rona. Shit. got Domino playing in. It's hot. Let's do this. So Rona. Rona, when T.O. walked in, she said, Oh my God! <laughs> you want to eat some Carl's Juniors, don't you? Uh -huh. I need to look like that. <laughs> speedy, that'll never speedy. happen. It'll never happen. Okay, let's do this. It's gonna happen. Let's do this, Speedy. It's gonna happen. Today, car tomorrow we start. Tomorrow we start making Speedy look like T.O. Oh my God! You gonna start That's Sunday? He gonna quit on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> hey T.O., we got milk right over here, man. We gonna do that. 
Start, okay. What's Makes up, well, so, like so, 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 so you have a, a show. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. That's Revealed or Grown. It's an interviewing platform where I uh, have scrapbooks that I make of people's lives and kind of tell their story through pictures. Mm. And that has gotten me back in the studio recording because I did the theme song for the show. And that you know, kinda... you're very graceful. There's this, like, grace about you. Oh, thank you're... you very much. Hosanna, let it be the rock. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Shit. Fuck that there's, a very, there's a very wholesomeness to you. <laughs> that's that's what they're all do trying you, to say. Do, are you are you are you a Christian? Are you, no, I'm just, just you know just, spiritual. And, so I mean, rather, whatever. So you you have have growing and living and learning. Premarital. District wine. Oh, my God. You know, a little pre- Did you call it cleanse? <laughs> no, yeah. I do a little sum of everything. I'm a personal oh. power coach. Every- a little sum of is everything. There, wait a minute. She's a personal power coach. Yes. What is that? What, what is, is that? that? So, I, inspirational writer. I've written three books. I'm working on my fourth. And um, wow. I motivational speak. Mm. And, yeah. You I'm kinda... So, what do people usually ask you, like, to get motivated? <laughs> I know what I use to get motivated. <laughs> what do you use? What do you use to get motivated? <laughs> Ba- oh um, my Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> what are the names of your books? Uh, eating healthier for less, because a lot of people want to know how to eat healthier Speedy. on Speedy. 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 Speedy ate just the on book. you today. <laughs> Speedy ate the book. They need a little bit more pepper on it. They had a book and booyah bay sauce. Oh. Page seven was a motherfucker. <laughs> over you got motivation, how to stay motivated, yeah. and find to pursue your passion even with a regular job. Wow. So where can people get this book right now? RonaBennett.com. RonaBennett.com. Mm-hmm. Eating for less. Eating healthier for less. Got Eating healthier for less. Stay got motivated. Motiv- what is it? Got motivation. Got, got motivation. Yep. And uh, find and pursue your passion. And find and with a regular J O B. Your passion. Mm-hmm. That's one name. All that. Rona title? Bennett in the building. Thank Rona, you for having is me. it? Can you can you give us a little something? Sing us out. I don't have any. Well, you got no. Happy birthday Sing. to Michelle Obama. Is, is it her birthday? Yes. Jamie, you sing wow, with me. Wow, you got to know when it's black woman's birthday. She nervous a little bit, man. Let's do it. Give me, give me uh, Michelle Obama. First lady. Happy birthday. First lady. Are you going to sing with me? Oh, she I'm, looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. Yes, she is. Cover she Life magazine. You have to sing with me. Baby, come on. I'm, happy birthday <laughs> to you. Ooh, yes. Happy birthday to you Woo. happy birthday dearest lady happy birthday to you sweet tea for everybody sweet tea for everybody, <laughs> sweet tea for everybody. speedy just took a bite out of the cake happy to you <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And to Nicole. What? Happy birthday to Nicole, too. Yeah. Right? Get that oh, it's your birthday, too? It's your birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Happy belated birthday. I'm, I'm going to yeah. say it every day of the week. Yeah, so. it's yeah. Capricorn. Yeah. 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 Jamie the 5th? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. We can't yeah. celebrate it now. The fucking, She's beautiful. The fucking candles down melted. <laughs> melted? Melted. It's, it's Fox Hole Radio. In the house, we got... Carmina. In the house we got. It's your boy Speed. Whatever. In the house we got. TDP. In the house we got. T Turner. In the house we got. Writer. Uh huh. Creator. Uh oh. Halfway, halfway didn't get the credit. Halfway he didn't get the credit, but he created it. <laughs> he didn't get the credit because he didn't have a social security number. <laughs> But I'm on the run, G. He's on the I'm run, the G. Run, G. <laughs> Writer, hat, lightweight creator <laughs> of the Kevin Hart show. Real Husbands of Hollywood. Real Husbands of Hollywood. Johnny Motherfucking Mac. Mac. When you see him out, you said that goes Johnny, Johnny Motherfucking Mac. Mac. And you say, look at Jonathan Kite right there. Okay, that threw me off. <laughs> we go. We go on a commercial. Fox Hill Radio is hot right wait. now. We got T O on the line. We got T O in the building. Yeah. We got Alan Payne in the building. Yeah. We got Jonathan Kai from Two Broke Girls in the building. We got everybody in the building. Eight five five three six nine nine eight nine eight. We coming right back. <laughs> what you thinking? Hey, I got. I got a call from your show. Yo, Fox Hill wow. Radio, baby. Fox Hill. Wow. Yo, yeah. wow. We are here with Alan Payne. Yeah. Money. G money. That we shit, just. That we, shit listen, we just got to talking about. Where has cinema gone for African Americans? Right. Wow. When I watched that movie, man, I was transported like New York City. My 40th birthday, I did a New Jack City yep. party. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't just the the fact that that 
that I knew you guys, and I knew you from a distance because you know I was just a comedian watching you guys. Like, just it was amazing. I remember, I remember watching watching you and Christopher Williams. Like when y'all would have like rolling through the city. I was like, Jesus, clutch your girls and lock them down to the fucking floor. <laughs> it was like crazy. So I had that, but also just watching those performances, man. I said. These dudes are amazing. Like, it should have been, you know, I wish that movie would drop now because the Oscars and the Golden Globes oh, yeah. would be a con completely wow. different. They right. would have to, wow. because now the performances that I see now, you know, they're just kind of yeah. empty. How do you feel about that? I'm just... I don't really have a feeling about it. I mean, you know, I just look at it like at that time, they weren't really considering us for, for right. those kind of awards. So, right. you know, none of us. Wow. Right? So it didn't matter... How good the performance was, we weren't really being considered now, for that. Now, did you know when you were doing it that that movie would be like that big? No, nah, we had no idea. No Dude, idea. Let me, I mean, let we me, knew we were doing something special. <sighs> let like let me, and you know what? What, what, what got me and watch, when watching the movie, it was like, like when he said, when he clowned you and then you pivoted. So you, right? Oh, oh you clowned me, right? It's shit like that, like in movies, man, where you go like, damn, these niggas, is, this is the realest, you know what I'm saying? It's the realest thing. It was like, it's like I was transported into all of that and was into that world like, man, like, what is the, you forget that they're actors and that's why we love them so much and then they're so far in between. That's why, you know, that uh, we hold on to those performances wow. so much. How does that feel when people come up and, you know, quote the lines and, and things like that? You know, it's, it's, weak business. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, it's nice. It's still, it's refreshing. Turn, turn everything down. It's refreshing that people, you know, still remember that movie like that. And, yeah. but the funny thing that I find when I watch movies is that filmmaking just isn't really done that way anymore. Like mm -hmm. black, black films in general are, it's a different kind of film now. It's not really, you know, black life in that way. I think we kind of got away from that and said let's let's create something it's more about male female relationships it's all about male female relationships right. it's not really about what's really going on in life overall because you can't make a movie about male female relationships without there being some fantasy in right, it you right, know right. so it removes the reality from it because it's really about getting women into the into the seats and then if right. women come you know, then the guys got to go because they got to you got to take your woman to the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! So, yeah. so, so they, they, it's it's finance now. Oh, certainly. And not only that, I find too with the actors like, and you know this yourself. Mm -hmm. When when we were young and we made all those movies in the '90s, those movies were all about, man. Let me show them how nice I am. Right, you know, let right, me. Right. I'm gonna I'm I'm jump in this thing <laughs> and I'm gonna bust their ass with this, right? Right. right. And now it's about. Six who's, who's a bigger star? Mm -hmm. um, I want to. It's all about furthering your career. Mm -hmm. So it isn't. It isn't really about the performance. Wow. It's about getting the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about. Oh, I got yeah. the job. Mm -hmm. What's the next job? Wow. But so they're not wow. really putting the work into the job once right. they get it. They're not going. Great point. Let me do something that is really going to. That this thing is going to be valid. 10, 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. Let me wow. do something because I look at a lot of these guys, you know, and I go. Let me get my Twitter numbers up. So it's just the yeah. right, check. right, right. Instagram, this right here. Yeah, yeah and, and that's and you know what? That's what's lacking. Like, like I watched American Hustle the other night, mm. and and me, T, Carmina, we all sitting there, we're going like, damn, it was powerful. It was amazing. Every These dudes get a chance. Everybody was painting and doing their thing, and then when you look at what we do, it made me go like, like, like. I, I appreciated Morris Chestnut and Best Man. You mm -hmm. know why? Mm -hmm. Because out of all of what was going on to, to sell the movie, Morris Chestnut was like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But not everybody was able to be like that because you got to sell the movie. Right. But Morris Chestnut was like this. Mm -hmm. Focus. And, and, and it was like, and it, but, but when you look at American Hustle and where they're going right now, and then when you look at even like, like comedy, like, like for me, like growing up, and then for all of us, the black comedy that was rated R, where Eddie was dangerous, or or Richard, which Richard way was is that? dangerous. Yeah, we don't we don't have that danger no more. Where everything is like, I, 
you it's know, like, I'm. It's, I, it's it's so safe. Commercial yeah. PG thirteen. And so, man, I look water down. Look, I, how do we get back though? How do we get back to? Whew, wow, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I would think that. I would think if you if you took a few guys like yourself, yeah. and a few guys that are real serious about making those kind of films, just coming in and putting in some work, like yeah. you know, really making a difference. Then I think something like that, because then the film would be an event. Right. So Hollywood has a tendency to follow trends. Correct. Right. So if you just got, if you just took five dudes and some bad sisters and just said, we're going we gonna to put something together that is just powerful. Right. And then when you, after you did something like that, then of course it would be successful because it would be an event. Correct. And then after the event, mm -hmm. then... The, the, you know, they would the follow suit. Train, Everybody yeah. else would just yeah. go, okay, now we have to do that. If we did something like American Hustle, if we just said, you know what, forget all of that, we're just going to go in here, we're going we're gonna to get some serious writers, we're going to tell the truth, we're going we're gonna to put a serious piece of work together. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we would then, um, it's just like, it, it would have the same numbers as uh, Think Like a Man. Right. Because that was an event in our community. So whenever right. you have an event in our community, everybody comes and, right. and then it spills over into, you know, other markets, other yeah. communities come and see what we did. And right. then it and then has astronomical numbers. Wow. Mm. We need an event. Who do you who did you watch when you were coming up? Uh, because here's the thing, too, though. This, this is what's different about you. And, and people may not know this. You're a competitive person athletically. Like when yeah, I watched you I hoop, and the way you hoop, when you're on the on on the court, it was like, I'm not losing this game. I'm you know, tell us where you're from. From first of all, I'm from Harlem. I'm 48th Street. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can we get some? Can we can we can we get some? Can we get? <laughs> and, and I can attest to that. Can we get some? I've been on the court. Shout out to Sylvia Soul Food. I've been <laughs> I've been on the court can with Allen. Can we get? Hard, can we go hard yeah. in the paint? And I'm like, this motherfucker. I can't guard it. So I'm coaching somebody else, sticking. And he's Speedy. Speedy wanted to beat me up the last time we played. Like you took some out the buffet. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hottest first grade nigga. Was. He, but, 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 he but, but, but let me ask this: Does that give you a different layer? Because here's what I always say: I don't really like actors. Mm -hmm. Like people that just act. Right. I find myself like I don't really like get connect. along with them. I don't connect because they'll be like, "Did you see the?" The small film and I said, I ain't really, I ain't really catch Did you see that. the cat? Did the you boot? see what they did? I, be, I ain't really with it. But I, I like hanging out with, you know, we like hanging out with yeah. athletes. Right. So I think that spills over into your performance. Because when I watch you, I'm watching, like, a person who's, you know, like, alpha male. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like now when I watch guys... Guys are really thespians, and I think this speaks to what you were saying, Tyron, because you were saying we were talking about we were talking about actors. I don't remember what the names and who are the actors were. It was like he seems sort of it seems sort of, mm. but then when you meet him, you understand what it is. Right. You, you'd be like, hey man, what's up? Hey, and how are you? You know Good what? Good to see. You. I really enjoyed what you like. What the fuck, nigga? I thought you was the, yeah, the nigga, shot nigga. a nigga in the last yeah, episode. Shot a nigga in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you Back talking about, nigga? nigga? <laughs> hey, nigga, you hoop? Oh my goodness. And hey, who's hooping? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you ain't I following the NBA championship. European accent. Are the Patriots? Are the Patriots? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> so, is that a part Jeez of it too? Him. Because I think we've lost. I don't know. I mean, lost. I mean, it, it is. I mean, it is. You know, theater. But I mean, but it seems like we've lost that. Like, like when I would watch you guys. I knew y'all was fucking all the bitches. I knew. I'm sorry. I was about to say. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, no, no. I was, this Fox on. I can say. I was just three times. When I watched y'all, I was Female. like, not only are they doing movies, but they didn't fuck. Oh, they just got a gang of bitches. They got a gang of, I'll never forget watching seeing you, Chris Wynn, and I I got a chance to get close to Al B. Sure. It was the three light skinned kings, nigga. <laughs> no, it was the three light skinned yeah, kings, nigga. Damn, they was, These niggas. Wow. I'm talking about. Everybody, it wasn't a girl in the city. That, I'm not gonna put you out there, but I gotta put you out there. It wasn't a girl in the city. That, oh yeah, I was like, God damn. But it was another thing going on. Right. There was an alpha male going on that I don't know if we have in LA. No, I don't know if we have that in. I don't think we have that in cinema. Right. Like like when I see when I see Leo. Like you know, we hang out. Yeah. You know, we hang with. Le we know what he's doing. Right. He doing Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm you not know on first he, name. You basically. know he doing his movie, and he about to go for it. Right. Busy. 
a, a yacht full of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I see this nigga fuck a yacht full of niggas. Listen to me, AP. These I've niggas in canoes. Like this. <laughs> and he, and he, he had with, two canoes. And he hang with niggas. Yeah. Right. So he, like, I said, black people. We, he hang with black folks. He was like, I mean, we went to, to, to Australia. All wow. of us went to oh, Australia, right? I, I didn't get that call. So yes, you, you, you got to get a passport. So, <laughs> he can't get one. You stay, you, now you're driving a passport. <laughs> <laughs> so we go to Aus, we go to Australia, Pat right? Finder. Now I, you know I'm we, I'm domestic. I got my daughter with me. You right. know I got my whole family with me the whole night. So the dude that that sprung for the trip, we took a 756. Shit was like a movie, nigga. They was, and I'm sitting there, right? And Leo, Jonah Hill. They like, yo, Fox, at the top of the plane. Now, we flying in the 757 double-decker plane over to Australia. He says, mm -hmm. yo, 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 buddy, uh, we got a club going on upstairs. Samantha Ronson was spinning. I said, yeah. I said, I said you got what? He says, the club. Why don't you come? I said, nah, I can't. I got my kid. He said, yo, well, let me, get you, let me get your music. So, at the top of the plane... I'm hearing music playing. You motherfuckers are partying. They, come, they stay up 24 hours. And you got your seatbelt on. And I got like yeah. this. <laughs> and some yeah. goddamn shower shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm doing some shower shoes. That's Nigga, I'm watching that's Hotel that's Transylvania. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> the kids like, God, like, why won't this baby go to sleep? Like, damn, <laughs> I done slipped the baby all kinds of Xanax and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we land in Australia, and there's two things to do. There's the, there's the parent with the kid, uh, Section. Section. And then there's, nigga, the, the Leo section. So we on, it was two yachts. My man got two yachts. We on the, you know, family yacht and the pinata, whatever the fuck we doing and Boy. shit, right? And I get a call from, uh, from, from Leo. We about to pass you right now. Mm. Figure out a way to get off the boat. Jump. Nigga, dive off the boat. This motherfucker passed by on a yacht with models Velcro to the bow. That <laughs> I'm not kidding you. What was y'all on a boat? We were like, what? And we were on a boat, but he, they went on a yacht. They went oh, past Titanic, 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 nigga. Jesus. The nigga had girls at the bow of the boat. <laughs> With their arms, I Jump, said, God Jamie. Damn. So he texts me, says, "Buddy, can you get away?" I said, "Man, I, I, I can't even, I can't fuck with it, money." He said, "Yeah, yeah, you, it's probably good that you shouldn't, because I wouldn't want to see Django with all these white bitches. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh. It was hilarious. It's, it was hilarious. <laughs> but what you feel when you see Leonardo is the same thing as when we feel when you see you, when you see you. Realness. It's a, it's a realness to it. Right. There's a thing. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I'm asking you a question, but just speak on that era and that time. And I hope I'm not blowing you up when I when I say that. But y'all are my heroes to this day on just how you made Hollywood fly. Like you and, made and it, cocaine. you made it great to look. <laughs> you made the movie I great to look at, and the experience when you went out in Hollywood when you saw you was fantastic. Speak on that time. I think I think that uh, there were guys before us, guys like Denzel. You know, Wesley, those guys, those guys were real alpha males. Like, oh, they were all alpha males. So if you came, like, those guys, like, I remember I remember Wesley telling me something what that they had done, Mo' Better Blues. Mm. And he said, uh, he said, yeah, man, I got this, I, I had to do this scene where D had to get at me. And I said, this motherfucker ain't going to get at me. I'm going to get in his ass. Yeah. You know, so yeah. they were going, they I were like that. bulls, yeah. you know, like, on the set. So and so, but the beauty is the, the beauty of, of of the way of that kind of acting is that you got to you have to be when you when you getting ready to roll with somebody that's really on top of their A game, you got to really be on top of your A game. It's mm -hmm. like De Niro and those guys when they were really putting in the right. work yeah. in the seventies and eighties. Right. Those yeah. guys, you know, Martin Scorsese said. He would turn the camera on. He didn't it, it, forget the script. Let me see what these guys are going to do. I'm just going to film it and we see what happens. Those guys start going at each other yeah. and whoever was the one that initiated it, the other one had to follow and, it, and they just went wherever they went and then right. that's just where it was. Right. And the shit right. wound up on the screen. Wow. And we were like, wow, that's great. So you had to be, you had to have uh, an ability for improvisation that you don't see, but you also had to have a willingness to say, all right, I'm, I'm with you. Like, it's crazy because it's like, I'm with you in this scene. Yeah. You, might, you might leave book, you might leave this scene altogether, but I'm with you because right, we right. in this together. Right. So wherever you go, I'm going with you. Right. So when we wind up going there, going there could be anywhere. We might wind up, you know, 
throwing, yeah. throwing punches at yeah. each other mm-hmm. yeah. and not even, you know, we're not going to hit each other. I, 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 yeah. Damn. Nice. See, it's just, it's just <laughs> New York. You've been in the gym yeah. for a while, huh? Just calm down. Yeah. Are, you are you from New York? Uh, Jesus, no, listen. Come in, are you from New York? LA, I mean, no, I'm not. But in LA, you don't get that. Well, no, don't, don't, don't diss LA. I'm in LA. Don't, LA, don't we, do that. We niggas Come on, too. Man. Come on, I'm for real. Saying, I'm from Oakland. I'm just saying. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, I'm and, doing and, my thing. And I'm from LA. But there's this thing about New Yorkers that you don't get. You just trying to get his niggas. Yeah, he's hot. Honestly, honestly, when you when you live in when every when I think about New York because it isn't today what it was then. Mm-hmm. So when you think about what it was, you know, when I was coming up, like in the eighties in New York, man, it was crazy. Yeah. I remember a guy that I, I'm from 148th Street. I remember a guy named Ivan. Like we used to just be like, he lived on 147th Street. Ivan was a serial killer. Mm-hmm. But he just what? lived on the next block. Hey, what Ivan. The fuck? So, <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> so, way to work. <laughs> Ivan, like, people would see Ivan, they'd be like, oh, man, I, you know, like, you, they run in the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, this dude That's is crazy. taking kids up. Don't you owe me money? And the kid didn't really owe him no money. He'd take the kid up on the roof and throw him off. Oh, Damn. oh man. Yeah, like like that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's a tough, tough When you grow up in that, story, you know, it, let me pivot. Let bounce, me pivot. Baby, bounce, it's baby, Fox O Radio. It's Fox O Radio. Al Pays in the building. Uh, shit. That was tough. I got to get to this. It's a tough transition right Talk of, Talk <laughs> about. <laughs> Listen, man. We I call it the Smell Your Finger Chronicle. Mm. <laughs> mm. What's this about? Smell your two fingers and a thumb. <laughs> Talk about the oh oh love Talk the, the bitch. Talk about can we get any type of inside track on what was going on at that time with the ladies, man? This is what my this is what my listeners like to like <clears throat> to hear about. Like my listeners, they they the they down to the hood, the street. They want to know. They hearing all of what we saying, the, 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 but they want to know ground level when you the hottest actor. What does that mean in the lady category? Well, the girl. don't get... <laughs> yeah. Hey, nigga. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Go 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 Hold on, nigga. Come on. Don't, don't edit Shut just because they... Don't give How me many no extras air. did you we get? No, no. I'm giving... I'm, I'm, yeah. No, I just, I just... Because I'm really giving you the real shit because... You got to count them up. I hadn't... No, I hadn't really... I, I really wasn't... That was my first movie. You were saying? So... No, <laughs> no, you got that no, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, that was my first movie. So yeah. I was, I was like overwhelmed. I was like, oh shit. Like it took me, it took me a few years just to even catch up with what was going on. Like the shit that Wesley was doing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, did this nigga just say that? Like, right. no, he didn't just do that. So like, Jason lyrics is when you cut up. That was supposed to be funny. <laughs> Swing and a miss by Socha. Just a bit outside by Speedy. And he laid no. a butt down. No, no. So what I'm saying is. But the girls Speedy were still coming. I had, so. no, I had no, I, I, I wasn't prepared for it is what I'm saying. I wasn't. You handle condoms? Just as a. <laughs> we got them. So no, so we got them. You got a pocket full of Trojans? But, 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 don't get hard. But, but I also don't think that anything, I don't, because like, you know, like you said, Christopher Williams was hot. He was making movies. He was making records. And those guys, and were, boys. they were already into their thing. Yeah. Okay. And I had just showed up. But you, you showed right up like that. a motherfucker. Yeah. You showed the fuck dead. But you showed, up like a, you showed up like a rookie that ran the, ran the first kickoff back <laughs> right, 107 right. yards. Right. That, now, is this just a rumor? But y'all niggas had like a, y'all had like a, like a house to, 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 uh, a light that skin. y'all... A light skin house? A light skin. You had houses, guns. <laughs> oh, oh. Talk about that, man. These oh. are our listeners, man. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that was actually, that was a specific scenario that, uh... It was in stereo. There was, a, there was, there was a lot of, there was a lot of, there was, you know, there was some, some guns and ammo in the house. Oh, and, what? Uh, and, uh, we, we actually, Chris had went to go pick up his son. Yeah. So, when he picked up his son... Um, he brought him back to the house and, you know, he had some ladies there. They was looking after his son while we did a few things. Made some cereal. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh <laughs> y'all are crazy. Man. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, These niggas won't let up. <laughs> and Stacy sent a private investigator to the mm. house oh, to get dead. the son, to get oh, her son. Oh, oh. And she had told the private investigator, Coolest. this is the real story that, that happened. Okay. So she had told the private investigator that, that, uh, Chris took Austin oh, from, wow. and rather than that. Damn, so, 
So, but no, that's that's just a piece of it. So, so mm-hmm. when the private investigator I answered the door because we was balling, Chris had messed his knee up. Yeah. So when the private investigator showed up at the door, Chris was like, "Oh, oh, get the guns, get the guns, get the guns." So we had to move the guns, right? Yeah. So we moved the guns, and then the guy came in the house and he said, "Are you Christopher Williams?" I said, "No." He said, "Well, you must be Al Payne." Wow. And I said, uh, "Shit, you know, who, who are you?" Yeah. And he said, "Well, you know, I, I work for Stacy Dash." And uh, I'm here. He said, the police are going to be here soon. And uh, if you don't, you know, if you guys don't give up Austin, you know, we're going we're gonna to have to arrest you. And then he said, uh, he said, I know you guys are not just entertainers. I know you guys are drug dealers. Wow. What? And we were like, oh, Stacy did that? Wow. Snitch. What? <laughs> Allegedly snitch. I'm out of weed. She Allegedly. had him watching the, the, the fucking movie. That's crazy. And uh, so then the police came. Mm-mm. And then they, and then after 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 the private investigator left, then the police came and uh they they arrested Chris. I had to go bail him out. Oh, that's crazy. And it was crazy. How for much was the bail? For well, kidnapping. Let me ask you this. Let me ask this. Wow. How our listeners want to know. Yes. How many women <laughs> in one night <laughs> did, oh, Al, did Al Payne have? Like, what's the Could crazy? Have. What was the night where you just went, I Jesus? I feel like you're holding back. You're holding Christ. back. What was the night where you just went, like, Jesus Christ? Yeah. I wasn't really that and wild. Jesus like, <laughs> you full of shit. I wasn't. Right I'm really, I'm, I I'm serious. I'm going to help you out. Right and now. the bitches. <laughs> you suck it up my high no. right now. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Really? I wasn't. So I wasn't. you, won't, you, so you monogamous? No, 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 you no. weren't, but are you now? No, no I, never, I never said that. I never, Was you monogamous? I never, I, what? Yeah. What did you say? Girlfriend. I didn't even have a girl at that time. I didn't even have a girl. So what's I said, up, I had, I had fun, but I didn't go, I didn't go crazy because oh, right. it was overwhelming. It was too much for me. But at some point, you gave in, right? It was always a struggle. It was oh, too much. Man. So was, you jacked off before you did the movie? With you ran <laughs> <laughs> out of book? Paper bag love. <laughs> well, man, listen, I want to I wanna say this. Thank I want to thank you for coming here. You know, And you know how we get on the Fox, so we put everybody thank on the hot seat. So and you're fantastic. We're going to the channel. I, I really appreciate wow. breaking, down that, breaking down what it means for cinema, man. And, and hopefully, dope. we all got to get together yeah. and bring it nice. back. You know what I'm saying? Or bring it, bring it back. It. And no disrespect to anybody out there that's doing their thing out there. We, we absolutely love it. But we do know one thing. I said this while we were in Australia. I said, man, the white guys are really taking what we do. Mm. Yeah. I said, these guys are more dangerous than us. Like, when you see Wolf of Wall Street and all that, these wow, guys are taking man. chances. When, wow. you see, when, you see, when you see comedy on the level of, of Jonah Hill and these guys that are actually like the being risky and, and we the millers, they really take right. a chance. So, uh, we're going to get back to that. It's Fox on Radio. What's cracking? Oh, oh no, no, no cracking your ass. We're going to keep this train going. We, we got, got T.O. T-O. in the building. We got Jonathan Kite from uh, Two Broke Girls. We'll be right back. 855-369 9898 in your mouth. Yeah. 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 Fox Number to call into is 855-369-9898. 3, 6, can I get this? Can I get OG Bobby Just? OG Bobby Just? Who? OG Bobby Just. What is that? OG Bobby Just. Who? Bobby Womack, OG Bobby Just. What? OG Bobby Just. Huh. OG Bobby Just. Here? OG Bobby Just. Ain't, that from, that, ain't that from the movie South OG Central? OG Bobby Just. Fuck. OG Bobby Just. You know Nicole's still here. Yeah, Nicole is in here looking fantastic. Yeah, boy, and, and Nicole, we got other girls in there. Yeah, we, but you still the finest one in here. Yeah, you exactly. Still the finest. OG Bobby Just. She uh, is one of the finest. There's a lot of beautiful girls in here. Watch your tone, boy. <laughs> watch oh, you your ain't tone. got a record? You ain't got that record? You got the tape. DJ Sometimes. <laughs> Who is it by? <laughs> oh, nigga, you got a DJ Kid for free. <laughs> 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 Who's Fox OG Bobby yeah. Johnson is by uh, Fuck nigga You know I don't know The Johnson title Bobby. nigga You gotta use that thing What's that thing Where you play the song It's Fox O Radio Call in Happy birthday to the first lady day. Once again Yeah happy birthday Happy birthday Michelle She's 50 Happy birthday to Michelle wow. to Michelle Obama, who oh, does it so cover, absolutely beautiful. If you don't Life. have this magazine, she's on Life magazine, yes. looking spectacular. Everyone should strive to be mm. uh, like Michelle and Barack when it comes to just relationships. I know I'll never get there. Yeah, you're just uh, but Why not? Great, Why it's, not? It's, it's, it's great to see them uh, <laughs> doing something. <laughs> it's with the great girls. to see it. 
It's great to see it. Yeah, yeah you're, a good, you're a good dude, though, man. I am a good dude. Black I just don't think I'll ever get to what they do because that's that to me. That's that's what they do. It's black love. Beautiful. I agree, Fox. You ain't, and it, you ain't gonna make it. And it's a you know. Come on, Johnny, help me. It's, wow. Uh, it's but not when happen. President Obama, you know, shows love to Michelle Obama, man, right. it's great. And I gotta, I gotta. Uh, I don't know if I should tell the Speak story. On it, Speak on it, pimp. I had to perform in front of a. Uh, uh, the president at the White House, mm. and uh, it was a, a, a dedication to six wow. the, the music of the six to Motown. Wow. Okay, and there was Barry Gordy, and there was there was uh, the Vice President Biden, and there's uh, President Obama. What you say? And, I never uh, had uh, dinner with the president. Hilarious. <laughs> and when I go on, but when I go on, they did they 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 did ask me to see my jokes. They said, "Where are your jokes?" Oh. oh. And so they said, "You don't write your jokes." And I was like, I, I, "So I wrote down some jokes." It was like I said, "Knock knock." It was like, <laughs> whatever. Wow. Wow. So, but no, but on real talk, the security was like, "Okay, oh, he's, he's going to say knock knock," and then he's going to say, "Who's there?" And what, what's the what's president. The I said, "I'm going to say the president." Oh yeah, he's going to say knock knock. Then who's there? and they all on they speak the, the wire. Squirrel one and squirrel two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, this is crazy," but I'm not saying none of that shit. Right. Because <laughs> I'm like, if I get in front of the president, I'm I'm doing me. me. I nigga, when I say I did me, so I go up and I, and, and I hit I hit uh. President President Obama with uh, um, I know you're mixed oh, hilarious. because I've seen you dance. Hilarious. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Saw the, oh, I saw the I saw the I saw the white side when you was on Ellen. What what is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I hit him with that. Uh, I hit President uh, Vice President Biden with a. Uh, how many of y'all remember the 60s? And everybody was like, ah. And President Biden was clapping. I said, no, nah, I didn't say the 30s. Oh, but, then you, but then you see the security going, this is not on the list. <laughs> Seize <laughs> him. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, and then we sung all this stuff. It was sealed. It was, uh, you know, and of course it was sealed. And, and the Jonas Brothers, you know, it, it, it was inclusive because right. it's America. Okay, the whole night, right? And it was great to see the pictures of the president on the wall. You know, all the different presidents on the all wall. The white ones. And then I did the joke of, I said, I saw all the presidents. I said, but President Obama had the most unique one because he was like, hey, what's up? You know, the whole thing, right? So things are going great. Here, here's, here's where I was, here's where I was wrong. Speaking on it, Fox. Here's where I was wrong, and I'm letting people know this right now. I was wrong. Okay. And uh, I gotta say, I'm <laughs> dead. But doing the stealth movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, Buns was good. Don't don't sleep on Buns. Buns, Buns was somebody. Damn, Damn Johnny, make could have got an Oscar for Buns. Yeah, Buns. Yeah, gonna take that. So Michelle Obama was dressed casually. She had a jumpsuit on. Mm. And Michelle Obama is very in shape. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. You look at uh, it? Oh, my goodness. And she has a... You looked at it? Stop no, it. Oh don't do that. But, 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 but let, me, let me preface it by don't saying, it. like, it was a, it was a very form-fitted jumpsuit. Oh. It. And what did you... This is the first and this lady. Is, and this is the first yeah, lady, and, I, and I'm wrong. Jeez. Was it Terry Cloth? <laughs> no, it was like a jean. Sort of like a no jean, limits. but... but mm. Oh. oh my God. Oh, I'm not gonna say what I'm what? saying right now, but what I'm gonna I'm broken? gonna mouth it. I'm gonna mouth it to the people in the room. Shut the oh, fuck. So, but, and, and so and but here's the thing though, everybody knew it, but of course it's you the first lady. It. It's the first lady. It. She had asthma. So we finished Stop. Yeah, she had asthma. <laughs> asthma, yeah. <laughs> Big asthma. asthma. Stop it. A big puff. So, so in the most in the most in the most I I have to say I, I have to I have to purge. Mm, wow. We're finished with the with the with the uh, the with the show, okay. Okay. right? Show is over. Mm -hmm. President Obama comes on stage, and now they're greeting us, and we're all in a line together. Got you. And President Obama's first, and he's talking. Hey, how are you? All right, all right, yeah. All right. He gets to me. Is that how it is? Yeah. All right. And now, <laughs> Michelle Obama, mm. happy birthday, comes, and you know we we do it. We do a polite hug. It's like right. polite. Right. My right. hands, my Shoulder. hands are Shoulders. way. My hands are above the show. Me okay. cool. and greet. Yeah. So I meet her. Bam. That's Hit, a first. It's a top. Bam, because mm -hmm. usually I'm, you know, this is yeah. 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 asthma. Get a nice little grin. Yeah. Exactly. I get up under here like this. Exactly. Get hit by an asteroid. Exactly. You want somebody to practice on? I don't even know you know how to hug. Above that's what I'm the saying. Way. I usually do this. That's, and, that's a prayer uh, man. That's all I do. Yeah. I'm pass on. Yeah, that's because what women don't understand when men hug you, mm. we are actually fucking you. Right. Yeah. In yeah. our mind. Oh. Like, through that denim. And then we pass it on. We're fucking you through denim. Get this thing. You have a denim baby. Bop. And then we pass it on. That's why I always tell girls, we don't don't want us fucking you. You know, in your head. We don't have friends. Keep the elbow. Up. Right. We don't, we don't yeah. know that girlfriends. Bop and then I pat. Yeah. yeah. So I'm above the shoulders. Bop. It's okay. the first. It's the first lady. Did you catch one though? So boom. No, I didn't catch one. Boom. But I'm here. Boom. I'm above the shoulders. Correct. And I let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. The problem is, as what a happened? black man, mm. yeah. ha, when a woman has asthma. Wow. Well. <laughs> 
Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> it's hard on the pupil. <laughs> Your private team miss. I know she has asthma. asthma. <laughs> right to the left of me. Uh, <laughs> Security. Well, <laughs> to the right of me. Speak on it. Watching my eyes. Come on now. Watching my eyes. Well, well. Hallelujah. Come on this evening. Shell Obama. Uh, <laughs> in a one piece. Happy birthday. Gang oh, over. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, I said to myself, Jamie Foxx, Jamie Fox. whatever you do, whatever. don't look down. Don't, don't, look look down. Down. don't look 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 down. Well, no. Lord holds it behover. Uh -huh. no. What do you think happened? No. You look my down. Uh -huh. Betrayed me. Oh. My eyeballs Eyeball. turned me in. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Minister society. Yeah. Yeah. You know you done fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well. Don't look down. Come on. No. But what did I do? What did you do? I fucked. Oh. No. no, no, no. Respect. <laughs> Nigga, when I say. Oh, hold the cornea. <laughs> Nigga, when I say. Hold the cornea. <laughs> Yo, I saw the glory. <laughs> nigga, when I say I couldn't help it, nigga, and it was one of the slow burns, like. <laughs> <laughs> As you gaze at bam. Shabbat, right? Asthma. <laughs> so when I hit the asthma. Right. Oh, my goodness. It was another old dude from, from the Motown okay. days. Uh, okay. Uh-uh. He see me. Oh. Don't you do that. I said, that. <laughs> my, my bad. <laughs> oh. Said, and nigga so, dry snitched on you. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Nigga so, ratted you out. That's that is my... Get. That's I'm sorry. Story. Story. You're supposed mm, to look at your black story. sister, That's though. She is a get. black sister, yeah. though. But, I, but it's the first lady, and <laughs> yeah. I was wrong, and I want to let everybody birthday. know. And she's married. That it was wrong, and I she's can look. married. Well, you can look, but not touch. You can't. Look, I'm not no, it was wrong. I was out of line. So, so in the house. I was lying. In the house. Ladies and gentlemen, now this... Sagittarian. What? Wow, how you know a brother's son? Because cause that's, cause that's how big a fan I am of him I am. I'm just saying. Come on. He... It's a bit much. Well, I, I don't care. What are you saying? That's, yeah. that's a bit much. I'm not a homosexual. But I'm just saying that's a bit much for a dude. Well, I'm just saying, but the way you said it, you said like I was same like sex. Yeah, like, you yeah, exactly. crush, like you had a crush on Like you had a crush on him. Yeah, no, Candy crush. It's not that. Go ahead. Wow. This Sagittarian. Okay. In the house. That you know of. When I, was, when I tell you. I've never seen what the fuck a is person on the house. I've never seen a person. Have them come on in. Ashley. Yeah, uh, tell them come in. Tell me. Tell them know we have a Black Panther meeting. So tell come the white in. girls they can come in. That's cool. Is that the Real Housewives from yeah. Section Eight? <laughs> <laughs> What's hey, going on? <laughs> so come on in this, here. This guy. Okay. This guy that I'm yeah. speaking about right now is uh, uh is rare. Wow. And I'm going to tell you what's rare about him. And even uh, Randall will tell you that this dude is rare. To have a person this size, uh, six, two, six, three, three in a fraction, three in a three fraction. fraction, six, three in <laughs> a fraction. Specific. Watch your tone. Right. Uh, <laughs> <delivered. laughs> I'll never forget, and you know, this ain't on no same sex. Right. Well, we'll decide. I never what forget the? seeing this dude with his shirt off. Wow. At a no, it was it was some type of charity Herbalife? thing, okay. charity thing that oh, we was okay. doing, and I was I was contemplating was I gonna take my shirt off. <laughs> oh, and, and when I seen this that? nigga with his shirt off, I said, well, I went and grabbed a tuxedo <laughs> for the jacket on. <laughs> uh, I called him the the powers of grace skull. If wow, you, people who know who that is, the powers of grace skull. He man. man, just 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 his physique alone, as far as an athlete, uh, is something that. People would like pray to have to be to play at the level oh, that he like, played. Yeah, I play yeah. softball. To, be able to, play, to, to play to play football. Yeah. Uh, his records, Hall of Fame. Yes. Yes. I agree. agree. That is true. Uh, I agree. Controversy true. followed him. Mm. That's true. That's how you get the money? But the reason controversy followed him is because he wanted to win that bad. Right. Yeah, maybe. Uh, where's my sharpie? Shit. And <laughs> sometimes misunderstood. Probably still misunderstood. But we would like talk. And I would say, hey, man, you know what? At the end of the day, you got to do you. Mm. And uh, when you do you, man, that, that, that completes you at the end of the day. Uh, fantastic catch. Wow. When he was playing with San Francisco. I hated it. I know you did, Johnny, man. Yeah, hey, fantastic catch. Playing it, with San Francisco when they needed it the most. Uh, and all of the swag and all of the trash talk uh, fell off, and, and people were like, 
And there were tears, too. He's an emotional guy. He's an mm. emotional guy. Don't cry today. And he was... Uh, I mean, it was oh his quarterback. God, Don't cry today. <laughs> That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. But that was later on. Yes, yeah, later uh, That shit was terrible. I, as I look at him right now at the table... Mm. Could he play right now? Whoa. It's one of the greatest. Oh, I just said the Raiders. He oh. said one of the greatest, not the, the Raiders. Raiders. Not the Raiders. Not the Raiders. 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 It's slipped. He's always on the Raiders. He said the Raiders. I'm talking about none other. None other. Initials Woo! only. Initials only. Mm-hmm. That's Speedy stomach growling. T.O. 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 is in oh. the building. Oh. Owens is uh-uh. in the building. The building. Talk to me, man. What's going on with it? I mean, I'm good to be here, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man, look. Let, let, let's get into it. The yeah, the, it. the 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 Carl Jr.'s commercial. I'm hungry. Right, right. Oh, fantastic. Appreciate it. Appreciate I, it. I, I really appreciate that. And then, uh, the, you know, all the girls, when you walk well, in, no black girls going in the crazy. Well, well you know, it's, yes, it was. Well, she was sitting next no to me. Girl. She was sitting next to me. She was high yellow, though. She was light-skinned. but she, light-skinned. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was from Romania. Black. Did she have a record? <laughs> T.O., let's get into it right now. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Ooh. Seattle. I'm going with the Hawks, Seahawks. Yeah! Oh. You motherfucking genius! Why, why is anybody going with the Hawks? Well, you know what? I don't, they're going to get conspiracy. there. It's a conspiracy! They're going to get there. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's going to get there with them now? Ooh, it's a toss up between the, the, the Patriots and the Broncos. Yeah, I they mean. do play each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Saints don't have a chance. <laughs> Over Denver. Come on, Oof. Theo. Come it's on, it's tough because it's the Broncos Denver. had such a lead last time, and then Tom Brady came in and had a Tom tremendous Brady. comeback. Okay. So you got to think line. about how they came back in that game. It's just not X's and O's. There's a lot of cere- cerebral hmm? sinking behind uh, this. And that's when I say that, that's, that's Bill Belichick. Okay. Yeah. You think about what he's done. That's true. Just think about what he's done all this year. Not, I mean, with the injuries, Aaron right. Hernandez, mm-hmm. not a lot, a whole lot of... N- High name guys, um, household name guys at no receivers. Um, you think about uh, Legarrette Blunt. Yeah. He's done. He's doing a lot with less. Wow! And he's not even in the talks of coach of the year. Mm. Wow! Only right. because he's done it so many times. I mean, he right. could be considered a genius as as a head coach. Right. Right. But you think about what what they've done. Obviously, Tom Brady, the last game, no touchdowns in the air. Six touchdowns, and if you just look at the numbers, you would think how many, you know, everybody was going to ask how many mm-hmm. touchdowns did Tom Brady throw. He right. didn't throw any. Wow. Right. So he, he six six touchdowns on the ground. LeGarrette Blunt had four of those. So you got to understand that, you know, with this game being played, anything can happen. You think about how, again, the Broncos jumped on the Patriots. So this, that's why I say it's a toss-up with this game. You don't know who's going to win. This right. is going to be a game, literally, of who make the least amount of mistakes right. in that right. game. Right. But my thing, out of the NFC, obviously, I, I, I played in San Francisco for eight years. That's where I started my career. I right. But, again, you know, I, I look at it, you know, outside of uh, a football player. I look at it outside of the fan perspective eyes. Mm-hmm. So I look at it you know, me playing the game, and I understand I was there for a short stint with the Seattle Seahawks. And I, when I was there, I didn't make the team, but when I was there, I said this team is going to be good only for the simple fact their defense is outstanding. Right, wow. that's true. They're not doing a whole lot tremendous and fantastic on the offensive side of the right. ball, but if you think about some years ago when the Baltimore Ravens won the, the championship, that's right. same model. Great defense, subpar offense with Trent Dilfer and those yep, guys. Wow. So you have a lot of similarities. Yeah, you have a lot of similarities with that offense. So that's why I'm picking C- Seahawks to come out of the NFC. You know and what I I'm, think you're you know fucking what I'm genius. Doing? You know what I'm doing? I think you're genius. I think we're getting T.O. his own sports show yeah. on the we Fox talked show. About what? That. Yeah. We talked because, about that. Because we were just talking about, man, the comedy. You just broke this shit all the way down. Because, you know, niggas, we be arguing wrong shit. What am I to do? Nigga, nigga, Russell is a Libra, nigga. I ain't never seen a Libra <laughs> lead a motherfucker to a goddamn. Super Bowl, nigga. Libras don't get too balanced. Right. <laughs> they got so flat I, uh, feet. Again, I, I tweet a lot. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram. So a lot of people, they 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 they, they hound me because What's obviously your Instagram? my Instagram is Terrell, at Terrell Owens, the same, same as Twitter. So a lot of fans, they they obviously, they know that I play for, you know, five teams. So they get on me because I'm not rooting for a certain team just because I played Correct. played for yeah, that yeah. team. Yeah. So they have to understand, you know, I don't look at it just from a fan perspective. Yeah, I have some outside the box. Right. So yeah. I have to look, I look at it from, from, from an inside point of view, and they don't get that. But, you know, obviously. T.O. Sports Show coming. Yeah. So, 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 you know, that's so, how T.O. Sports Show coming on on Fox 0855-369-9898. Oh, so, is, it, is it the system or is it the quarterback as far as Peyton Manning and Tom Brady? Who? Who is the better quarterback, or is it just the system? What do you think? It you know, I want your opinion on that. Well, sometimes the system. When you have 
Uh, and it, I mean, you just take five guys and we're going to hoop. Right. You know, those guys don't have to be outstanding, but if you have that chemistry, right. the nucleus of, of, of guys, the core group, and you guys get along and you can kind of work with each other, you can be successful. But when you add a guy like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, these guys are, I said cerebral earlier, so you guys. No, you almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> you said celery earlier. You said celery. Okay, celery. <laughs> but no, these guys are very, very smart. I mean, everybody has known what Peyton Manning has done, obviously, in college. Right. But look at what he's done throughout his career. Right. Uh, this guy has done it all. I, I mean, mean, you look at what he was predicted to do and what now what he's doing now. I mean, con considering that this guy had a neck injury last year and they were, I mean, the Indianapolis Colts traded Most him. Injuries. Obviously, he, he was going to be out of here. Right. But he has proven, basically, again, to risen himself from the dead mm. to do what he's done this year. My take on that would be he only won one time. He's <clears throat> against Tom Brady. But he's one 10, time is he, enough. But I'm saying he, he lost in 1988. He lost even like last year against uh, uh, Baltimore. He, he lost the first playoff game they had. And even gets to go back when they played the Saints. He threw the, the interception. Baltimore right. threw an interception. But so I, know, about, I know. But here's my thing. What about their defense, Johnny? That's my thing. My thing is this. I, I call him a regular season superstar. Because mm. what did he do in the postseason? That motherfucker lost those last two games. He lost them himself. Well, I mean, he threw an interception. Lot, right. It's a lot of guys that are regular season. But, but you say he's one of the greatest. I can't, I can't give him His that. numbers speak for itself. In the regular season. His numbers overall speak for In itself. In the regular season. But he had the Super Bowl. Right. But as you, if you look at a, a, the tenure, you look at the resume for, for, for Peyton Manning, it's not just regular season stats. It's throughout his career. What is I mean, done? I don't have a Super Bowl championship, but it's my body of work that I've accumulated your throughout body. my Throughout the car, oh, but I'm saying, yes. you know, when you when oh, you go yes, to name it, sure. so, when you go to name him the best, I can't do that. I can't do that. But that's your opinion. No, no the stats, the stats you're, prove it. You're you're speaking as a fan. <laughs> right. I, I I didn't play. I, no, I, I, you I, didn't. Obviously. Tio, <laughs> <laughs> shit on my goddamn accomplishment. <laughs> I've been to the mountaintop as far as writing goes. Now I'm a writer now. I, and, I just don't. You're I, good at that. I'm great at that. I don't. I don't. I can't give. Peyton Man and all the props everybody do. I can't even give Tom Brady. Oh, let me finish. Tom okay. Brady his props. Because they won their fucking Super Bowls during the Spygate situation. Since the Spygate was discovered, they ain't won shit. Mm. Right, I, I get Since that. they got caught cheating, the motherfuckers ain't won. But the thing is... Speak on that first. Right, but your thing is... <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're speaking as a fan, but just like Michael Jordan, he's one of the greatest. Everybody don't like Michael Jordan as an athlete. But they, he, he won six championships and lose but, any, so you can't right, deny. Right, you can't... He has a championship... Regardless, and yes, they so you can't deny it. He cheated. Who cheated? How Tom Brady what? cheated. Oh. They got caught cheating. The guy that was doing the fucking videos, the uh, defensive signals, he came and told it. He became the coach of the Jets. He just said, no, we got fucking signals. We we, we bugged their practices. We cheated for those three Super Bowls. Peyton Am Manning I right? Has, Peyton Manning has one championship. I think Brady has two or three. Brady has three. Right. But did but it ain't did they not come out and say he cheated with the spy case situation? Did he not say I that? I don't know about all of that. T I don't know about and they all find that. the team five hundred thousand. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, that's okay. Hold on. T it was it's a legend. Okay, it was a legend. What's okay? I can't speak my fucking mind. Yeah, you can do yeah, that. You can do that. Yeah, like T.O. with the with, I got the, with, I like everything. I'm the white man with the hood of sheep. T.O. with everything on the line. With uh T.O. I mean I mean uh Tom Brady or Peyton Manning, everything on the line. Oh, I'm going with Brady. I'm, okay, going I'm, going Tom, I'm going with Tom. I'm going with Tom Brady. I'm okay. going with Manny. I'm going with Manny too. He don't know what he wants. He's going with a he's dude. Asking. He's been he's been yelling something about the Raiders since we since I got no, it. Goddamn yeah. right. Raiders ain't since been I've shit. known him. He's been talking <laughs> about the Raiders. I'm a fan. I don't know fuck about none of these teams. Raiders ain't been. The shit. Raiders they went to the playoffs since whoosh, last 2002. time. Two thousand two. Right when Jerry Rice was over there. Yeah, I was hurt. I was hurt by that. <laughs> so I don't I don't know I if y'all I don't know if y'all heard of Ke uh, Kevin Winslow and what happened in the in the uh, uh, in Target. Target. I don't know if any is anybody with that? Vaseline. Huh. Yeah, your boy has got caught. Uh, What's really at going the down? Lot. Beating his uh, other football. Yes, at the <laughs> what? parking lot, parked. Yeah. Yes. What, allegedly. What? What? Allegedly. Well, well, give me the story. Give me some. Who? What? Well, what okay. The fuck? Can we get the story? Hold on. Basically, what happened? He's in the target. He's in. He's in target. He's in target. In the parking lot. Allegedly, he's in. The, well, he's in the parking lot. They they found two uh jars of Vaseline fully empty. <laughs> Fully empty. He they, went to work. These small, small these small containers, these big containers, the big ones. It, <laughs> the big daddy came. Yeah. Yeah. He Damn. Found, the, allegedly, uh, allegedly he was. Can found, I finish my story? off without official turf? Can what I the finish fuck my was, story? Allegedly he was found slouched down in his seat, moving uh, around. Uh, Mr. Winslow then moved into an upright position in his seat. 
No, no. When, when listen, he's, he's, in, he's in Target. He's in the, the Target. He's in Target. There's two jar. There's two jars of Vaseline that's just completely gone. A lady comes in. She's a fan. She's driving up. She sees this car. She recognizes this car. She's like, oh, I want an autograph or something. This car. She goes to the car without a tinted window, <laughs> and she sees something. Choking she, the chickens. She sees them. She sees them jacking off. He said he wasn't jacking off. He said he was just. He had some weed and. He was, you know, the Vaseline. Well, Allegedly. What, what, weed and Vaseline don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. You know him, right? Yeah, I know Kevin. Yeah. Kelvin. Kelvin. He, he, yeah. Don't know, he don't know if he jacked off at Target, though, Speedy. <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> you made it seem like he would know if he was jacking off at Target. He wouldn't know nothing like well, that. Know Does but he I tell seem you one that type of guy? What is low? Yeah. Does he seem that type of guy that would do something like that? Allegedly. No, not to my knowledge, but I, I mean, I'm, but I'm sure it's a lot of guys that jacked you what, off and I, they don't look like I, they I tell do you that. In the parking lot. I tell you one thing. In your car. I tell you one thing. He was definitely on Target. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goddamn disgrace. So, so Jay, Jay, we're just talking. You missed it, the whole thing. So, we were just Kevin Winslow. Kelvin. Ke Kelvin, Kelvin Winslow. Yeah. Is it whatever. Kellen? It's Kellen Winslow. It's right? Kellen. Kellen Winslow. Whatever. Kellen. Whatever. 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 He's a, he's he was caught in the parking lot with two jars of fully yeah. Yeah. empty Vaseline jars. Right. What was he doing? Um, well, they can't be fully empty. He wasn't putting no oil on his, on his fully elbow. Fully empty is a contradiction. Uh, uh, right, it can't a, be fully empty. A fan, a fan, a fan comes up. She wants an autograph. She sees this car. She recognizes the car. She's like, "Oh shit, that go Kevin." Whatever. So she comes up, and she look as, as she looks over his window. She sees him playing with himself. Allegedly. Was it Target or Walmart? Target. Target. <laughs> Why does that? Feel? What is what, the, what, what, hey, wait, wait, wait. Because I, I usually Target hit the do got nice prices. <laughs> I'm talking, I, you got good prices. You know what I'm saying? Walmart got the bigger parking uh, uh, spot. I mean, I got good views. And you got Best Buy. You can go I, to Best Buy. I'll share my Shang Shanga. In that <laughs> I'll make it rain with no money. And he had a lot of uh, So the boy was in there playing with his chunky. Son? Funky monkey. He was yeah, playing with his He was choking the chicken. Yeah, they said he was playing with his I'm son. cool with all hey, that. Nigga, sometimes. As long as he don't park in a handicap. I mean, nigga, I've... I've I You've done it. I've nah, done I don't. Today, I mean, but in the park, in the parking lot, and without a tent, tinted window, you won't, you know what I mean? Like that's just kind of. I'm little... trying to think the craziest place I've ever just. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, what what about Target? I've done, I've done, done, done it. I've done it. I've done it. I'm trying to think of the craziest place I ever thumbed it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Was he was he thumbing it or was he? I'm gonna be honest. I've done it. I've done it on cruise control, but you know what I'm saying? Tio, I want to know where the weirdest place. Four or five. I've let car on cruise control. In between the four or five and the one on one, I've let him have. I've let him hang out the window a couple times. What's your favorite place? And the car behind me thought I had the windshield sprinklers on. Stop it. Stop a mist came out. Whose dog oh is that? God, this motherfucking mist came out. Oh, like, this oh, motherfucker. Man, this oh, cop man. stopped me. Oh, cop stopped me and took my thumbs to jail. Oh, my God. Cop stopped me and took my thumbs right to jail. And I'm like, hey, man, you know how to get it. He has some mini handcuffs here, right here. Hey, this guy is. My thing, I don't know about y'all, but like when when I hit it, right, it's like I can't hit it with my right hand because my right hand feels so strong. Is that why your shoulders are messed up? but it just feels strong, so it feels like a nigga. Is reaching, you don't want to get arrested for domestic violence. Like another nigga behind me oh reaching. Out. Hey, nigga, look. So, so your left hand, dick go, nigga. So your, oh, that's my hand. So your left hand is soft. My left hand is thin. So your left hand is moist. Still, look, you like that. The left hand so is my moist. My left hand is like this, so yeah. I can, you know. Right. I did, so it feels, you know, like, you know, oh, more feminine. Not as aggressive. Like, nigga. Oh. Your left is less Give me aggressive. Dick, nigga. Oh, that's, yeah. It's like, you so know. So do you, do you have uh, your, uh, do you, do you just, are you lazy with it? Like, are you, do, no, or no, do you no. get a towel? I sometimes you just be why like, Why do you want to know, Tyron? Why do because, you want to know? No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. Just no, <laughs> why do I want to, shit, why are you asking the question? <laughs> my, my, my thing is like this, is that, I, you know, I have to, I have to, I have to take, you know, I get my computer. You got to correct yourself. Out. You, you got to take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I get your time. my little, you know, my little, you know, drink. Because you don't want it to be over I too want, fast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get your little and sand gold. And, and what I do God. is I take myself up to the mountaintop and then come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so you're a tease. So you're a tease. I tease myself. You tease yourself. Because you I don't just want to go, bow. And right. then I'm like, damn, I got a whole hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this movie just started. Hour, right. The movie just started. The porno just started, nigga. They right. got it. I, I bust in the intro. Right. Right. You got to get a black What I try to do is I take it up oh, to the mountaintop. God. Take it to the mountaintop. Oh, yeah. go back. Take it to the mountaintop. And then after a while, nigga. Why not go for seconds? 
Nah, see, I'm no, not smoking. No after that first one, it's a wrap. After that first one, it's a wrap. You fuck around in a fucking paper clip. Get a trolley in your arm and shit. I tried that shit, trying to hit it twice, nigga. A paper clip and a piece of lint came out. And then, you know when you do it, like when you try to... And sometimes it be right. His rotator cuff is messed up now. And then one time, I was like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then right you there, your girl stopped by. Hey. And then your girl stopped by. What's up? We fucking? Oh, no, no. 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 I let's called watch, you, let's bitch, watch a movie. Hey, I called you 20 minutes ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, you hear it. So, Kellen, we're going to give you, 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 we you the give first you two football player to them. get the golden glove. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah. Golden Glove. If he was uh, on my show, if he was on my podcast show, he would be getting a timeout. Yeah, he get wow. a timeout. <laughs> timeout he would be man. getting a timeout. So, uh, so y'all feel like it was wrong, though? Or um, shit. Wrong, wrong, wrong time, wrong, wrong place. place. Just a wrong time, wrong, wrong place. place. Yeah. But I yeah. ask T.O., what, what's, what's next for T.O.? I mean... I know you tried, um, you know, Seattle was your last team. What's you the next spot yep, you're yep. going to, I'm just Let kidding. me finish. Uh, so Seattle was your last team that you went out for. Are you going yep. to, you still like you in great physical shape. I mean, I you know. you know, can make the Raiders. Well, the thing is, it's all about I can po- make the Raiders, poli- politics and. Uh, you just worry about your Cowboys. <laughs> well, whatever. It's all politics. And again, you know, I, I've kept my sh- myself in shape just in case I, I would have gotten a call. And, I see that. Um, you know, I guess a couple hey, weeks ago, I did get a call that our team better? possibly was going to try to bring me in for the playoffs. <laughs> um. But uh, again, like I said, you know, I just been keeping myself you in shape. You want to see who that team is? Nope. Just got to stay ready, just in case. You never know. That's right, T.O. You never know. T.O., are you single? I'm 40. Yes, I'm single. Oh. Ah. Mm, my name is Carmina. Ah, she's she's easy. just out she's there. Easy. She's, she's a little tipsy right, right now. She's easy. Okay. Please, don't, please don't be a groupie on team. Please don't be a groupie right now. It's okay. Get your groupie on. Get your groupie on. Destiny Moscato. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so sing, how tough is it now to date? Oh, it's very tough to date. You know, for me, uh, you know, obviously just going through a lot of things uh, throughout, throughout my, my childhood. What? Yeah, you know, right. so I did, <laughs> didn't have a father figure in the household. Okay, okay, so. you're going serious. Okay, go. Yeah, so again, it's one of those things where I didn't, I, I wasn't taught as a, as, a, as a kid, you know, to, to have a father. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? To do what? <laughs> to pull out. Hey, 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 boy. Yeah. The pre coming <laughs> You're right about that one. Hey, pre coming get it done, baby. pre get it done, too. Absolutely. Yeah, this nigga yeah. may have one eye, but it, it, this nigga got a baby battle. I mean, so, yeah. so not having a father around. So did, so did that, did that, that affects all of us. Because I know that I was adopted, and I didn't have my, mm-hmm. my, my, me, you know? my I met uh, mine at 16, my, 13, something like that. It did not affect me. I didn't have my biological father around. I had a father, uh, an adopted father. But how did it affect <laughs> you, like, seriously? Just from a standpoint of uh, really just not being mature enough to handle certain situations and then, yeah. you know, <laughs> going to Chattanooga, going from a small town, small school. Tennessee. Going to California, playing with it, you know, the most storied franchise in history. I no disrespect to the Cowboys. So At Raiders, that time, Raiders. the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. So I came into a lot really quick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of fame, money. You did money. come into a lot. Yeah, you came. Yeah. <laughs> you came into <laughs> a lot. Of- T.O. T.O. Oh, white bitches I can have. Hold up. T.O. 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 I got San Francisco <laughs> white bitches in football. T.O. I got to ask you a question. I got to ask you a question. What's up? They sent me a bouquet of white bitches. Outside of, and outside, rice I, Outside of yourself as a mm-hmm. as a wide receiver, who is your who's the, the best wide receiver ever? Outside of yourself. Jerry like, who do you think? Oh, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice? Okay. Hands down. Okay. Hands down. So we, time, this is Tyron and I, again, okay. we, we go back and forth, and Tyron made the statement that my man from Detroit, what's his name? Calvin. Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson. Megatron. If be- Megatron was better, or my, I, I, not I'm, better. I'm saying there's a lot of receivers today that's doing some incredible things, and I, and because I think you can't that, touch them nowadays. They can run I, down the I, fucking I, I, field. That, look, we can't, you can't hit cool. them. You I can't hit that. them over the middle. You can't touch them off the line of scrimmage. I can go out there and get I fucking understand. nine. We I, got a eyeballing... 29. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. I understand There's that. No such thing. We have a deep staring on 29, 15 yard, legal looking. You can't touch these niggas nowadays. They got a point, and, and, Tyron. You can say the same thing. They, they have a point. Okay. Hey, they have okay. A point. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't okay. be able to go across the middle with Ronnie Lott there okay. and Jack Tate. Okay. The in the, the little fraction and, on the field stands the, there. He smacked. And he joked okay. with him on the sideline, and that's a 15 yard ball. You can't even say shit. Who's the greatest football player in touch football then, in, in the, the new league then? Well, who, like, who do you feel like? The Megatron, like, who's the best? Receiver wise? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's definitely one of the top guys. Definitely one of the top guys. You think about what Cruz has done the last couple of years, he kind of just, you know, he was there, then he kind of fell off this year. You, you, you had some emerging. What that about money. Randall Cobb from uh, Green Bay Packers? Oh, <laughs> right? oh, what he did in the playoffs coming back, man? Awesome. 
Okay. Oh, is Randall here? Hey, yeah, Randall. Right, right, right. Yeah. He awesome. just texted me. So, Randy, Moss, awesome. Randy Moss, one of the greatest? He's, good. He's one of the guys. Like I said, Randy Moss is one of those guys. He's There's always going to be a but or an if with him. Right. Okay. He's one of those guys. Only said to go deep. He doesn't go across the sure middle. Work ethic was also in question. So again, but his numbers, you know, speak for itself. Now I'm never going to say he's not a good I receiver. Say that in today's in today's football, the numbers <clears throat> are are are, are, are skewed. Uh, yeah, you can say inflated. It. I, I have a GED, so I'm gonna go with the the, the <laughs> I know. They're a little skewed. Numbers ain't shit. <laughs> right. Ain't <laughs> shit. Because you right. can't you hey. can't do nothing. Exactly. I mean, hey you, nigga, you watch a football game now. Receiver go across the middle, whatever the pass may be. They're calling for the flags all day, every day. These corners are horrible. These corners are horrible. These corners are horrible. You don't know if the corners are horrible. You can't touch them. <laughs> he can well, right well, now. I'm Have saying, you ever been hit right now? Them niggas can't hit you. Now, what are we gonna do after this? Yeah, though? he got hurt. I'm a corner. So I'm gonna take on a corner store. No, 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 no. Corner. I'm, I play corner. Yeah, but there's he's a Krispy Kreme on your corn corner. Bread. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Krispy Kreme on your corner though. <laughs> so before, when the Stick show is corner. over, I got to you. Heart attack. Oh, right. my goodness. It's Fox on Radio. What's cracking? Oh, oh, right. crack right. We're coming back with Jonathan Kite in the building from Two Pro Girls, and then we're going to wrap it up. We're having a ball, and we're going to turn this thing into a party. This thing, oh, somebody, is, somebody Instagram this thing right turn now. Turn up. We're about to Instagram this thing. Mm -hmm. you go, hey, if you told your man here. you weren't supposed to be here, Hey, you Let gonna come know. on to my podcast I'm show, too. I'm coming on to your podcast. Man, I've been trying to get you on for like a year. Come on, I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, T.O., man, you know how I feel, man. You, you know, you're a friend of ours, man. We always respect you, man. Thank you for coming. Terrible, and, terrible next, and, next time, and next time, we'll get into some of the other things. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Fox absolutely. already, we'll be right back. Right back. Yo. We are over time. We are, we are having a fantastic time. We wow. got so many stars that have come out. And it's girl. Saturday. Uh, movie, hey, well, movie, well, not. Movies to go check. Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. Movies to go check. Yes. Ride, Ride along. along. Ride along. Movies to go check. Ride along. Movies to go check. Uh, uh, American Hustle. Uh, yeah, American Hustle. I'm, I'm, I'm Long, shot, Lone Survivor. I'm shouting out my homies. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Leonardo DiCaprio. Go man. check check out Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm for shouting sure, out my homies. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And while you bullshitting, what? grab what? Minister Society. Grab uh, New Jack City. New Jack City. Why you bullshit? Grab Netflix. Dead presidents. All of those. Dead presidents. Grab Netflix. all of those. Grab Ray. <laughs> I like Ray. Yeah. You did great. Man. Hey, that. right now. Oh. Turn, yeah, turn that down. Hold on. Hold on. We got an echo. Keep we, going, Speedy. We nigger rigged it for just for a hot second. We having a party in here. Challenge. Oh. We're at a whole other level right now. Nigga! How many niggas? How many niggas he gonna say? I don't know. How many niggas is he gonna say? 855-369-9898. A party, a party just turned, a party just fucking happened all of a sudden. At the foxhole, if you ain't the if you ain't at the foxhole right now, you really doing yourself bad. Make sure make sure everybody like lets everybody know what's going on. Right now, we are in a underground bunker right mm, now right, right. at our show we're going to tweet out a pic where we are to let people know where they think they know we are mm. <laughs> and uh it's on the chain there. al Payne, to uh my goodness randall cobb, randall cobb. Nicole, nicole, murphy. Murphy. Nicole, nicole murphy nicole murphy who is still here in trying to have my babies yeah. oh, oh, hey hey text me mike <laughs> I'm full of this goddamn Moscato, nigga. Yeah. Destiny. Destiny. Me, man. Destiny. 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 Texas me, man. Uh, this this young this young guy right here, I believe is going to be the future of not only comedy but just Very entertainment fun. all Speaking over. I met this I met this kid, man. We were trying to do this uh, comedy show that didn't quite get off the ground, but when he came <sighs> yeah, in, it's it tough. It's tough. When he came in uh, uh, to to audition, man, he did like ninety voices, wow. ninety different characters, and then I, to be honest with you, I tried the business move. I said, man, listen, any type, any any way I can help right. uh, with your career, man, I'm here. And uh, wouldn't you know it though, uh, the comedy gods are great because mm. right. the comedy guys want want to see, and you know we all comedians, so the comedy guys want to see the true comedians come alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they want them to give them a shot. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, now this young man is on the hottest show. I love it. Uh, Two Broke Girls. Yeah. Which is Woo! absolutely amazing. I, I Start clapping your hands right now. And then anybody black girls. Nobody There's two there. broke white girls. Two yes, sir. Yes, sir. broke girls. Give it up for Jonathan Kite. Right. Jonathan Kite. Speak on it, man. What's up, man? How you no, doing? No, I'm good, man. How, how, look, how's the show? So good. We're in the middle of third season right now, and yeah. it's money. Uh, money. money. Yeah, yeah. we money. got picked up for syndication after first year, so Whoa, which is the dream. My father's still trying to get me plumbing jobs. Yeah, <laughs> that's a true story. We got a Thanksgiving job coming up. Here. Yeah, he does. He said. He said. Uh, I came home for my birthday a few years ago, and the show. Turn the music off. Everybody told him that the show was big, and he always, as a kid, he always said, "You should be a plumber because they'll make real money." Wow. And then at the show got picked up and he didn't really watch it and you know it was going so well and everyone kept telling him and at the birthday party he's like I don't know man it's not too late to be a plumber that's hilarious <laughs> and I said dad I was like the only plumber that makes more money than me right now is Super Mario oh, wow. <laughs> you're from Chicago right yeah Chicago land area right outside so yes. so how did you get down to the uh, audition for the show we was on on Fox Television. Tell us about that journey to come down for our day. I heard you crashed it. They, yeah, they, they didn't take uh, the agent that I was with at the time, didn't even submit me. So, mm. I mean, uh, I had put together a tape, and um, like in the last minute, it was uh, Marcus King and, uh, and then those other two white guys. And, um, <laughs> right. and, um, and, uh, and they let me come in last minute. Right. And uh, I knew that, I mean, judging by like other urban sketch shows, you probably can take one white guy. You know, right. affirmative action, you take with at least right, one right, white right. guy. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we gotta get put on. And, um, yeah. and so, get on. I was like, I thought, um, I was like, I could just gotta do as many famous white people as I could think of. So, I would just sit in front of YouTube because I knew I had the audition. And so, every time we kept getting called back, I mean, it was like the craziest. I've never been a part of something like that because you have to understand people at home, like, they put you in a holding cell like wolves yeah. with each other and, and you jail. know yeah never say a holding cell in front right. of so many yeah. people well, I'm, I'm not we're not committed yet is yes, what i'm it's saying scary <laughs> scary um but um you know and we know and there was a one another white guy that was there and i remember thinking like there was that was it it was like like the live production of roots or something there was a <laughs> <two> <laughs> white guy. and i knew it probably only I'm one scared. of us was gonna get it <laughs> you know Man. and so this woman came out of the room that you guys were in it was before you got there this woman comes crying out of the room and she's like, oh man, well, I thought I only was supposed to prepare five minutes and they asked for more. And she just like broke down. And I remember thinking, oh man. So I went in the hallway right. and it started writing down like every impression I could think of. Right. Right. And so I went in the room when, when that was when I met you and I right. was like, hey, I'm, my name is Jonathan Kite and I'm going to keep talking until you tell me I'm not funny anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. And then I think I did like 15 or 20 or something. Yeah. And then when I met you, yeah. they were like, we got to figure out how we're going to do this. And so then I remember, I, rem I learned like all these new guys because yeah. I knew that it would have to just be the current people. So you have to understand like every round, we were just trying to yeah. learn more people. Wow. And I mean, you're amazing impressions. Yeah. That's so hard. Like you get like yeah. the 10 out that you think you can do. Yeah. And then someone's else like, well, what other what guys do you have wow. in you? And then you go. You like oh, Tom Hanks, Vince Vaughn. Now, now, here's the thing. It's it's Michelle Obama's uh, birthday. birthday. What yeah. would Rush Limbaugh say about that? <laughs> uh, I uh, let me let me let me let me let me say one thing. <laughs> uh, uh, it's my birthday, <laughs> and uh, uh, the only thing the black community sent me was a lit bag of shit. <laughs> All right, Mark, Wal Mark Walwood. What would Vince Vaughn say? No. I uh, I'm excited right now. You know what I'm saying right now, First Lady. I'm saying I. I, I was a little here earlier, baby, and I want to say I look at the badunka dunk. I'm saying right now, asthma. If she got the jumpsuit on that said juicy, then baby, daddy's gonna look at juicy. You know what I'm saying right now? <laughs> daddy thirsty for juicy. You know what I'm saying? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Hmm? <sighs> Yo, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to Michelle Obama. <laughs> I just ran here from Boston. <laughs> That's why I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Happy birthday from all the Wahlbergs, Donnie and me. What's up? Robert Downey Jr. What else you got? What's the oh, Tom Oh, man, Hanks? it was no, so wait, funny. Wait, wait. Robert oh. Oh, uh, Tom I'm Hanks. Gonna, I'm going to do this. Sir. Tom Hanks? What would Tom Hanks say? Hi. Oh, I'm America's favorite actor. <laughs> and from everyone in America, Stare. I'd like to say happy birthday, <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> and, and, and he got the gig, right, Fox? Hey, hey, what about, what about, what would Bane say? 
Oh man, from, I, don't know. From, I could do it with the mic. Night. I could do it. I'd say, oh, I don't know if it'll sound right with this, but I have to tell you, just a president. I did not do it. I really believe in Santa. Happy wish you a very happy holiday for your old birthday at all. I said everyone died in that movie because they couldn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> They wanted to do what he was. They were like, "What do you want to do?" He goes, "Stu's <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what this dude is saying." Right. Uh, Wait, Jonathan, uh, tell him, tell him about the party with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, so party. funny. So, like, I I made this video um, mm. that I submitted to uh, to one of the uh, to the guy who has a show, a talk show right now, and uh, I, I had to learn new impressions. And so, I was working on a Robert Downey Jr. for such a long time because originally people know this. Fox knows this. When when we got when we were getting cast, so when you you try to think of like famous white people, right. I I said, George, I said I could do Lincoln, but you wouldn't know what he sounded like. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Let him go. Uh, but uh, but uh, no, like that's what I learned when they were like, "Who are you going to learn?" I said, "Man, I just learned white people that Jamie Foxx did movies with." Wow. Because then we could do like terrible sequels, yeah, 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 yeah. like Collateral Two. Somehow yeah, yeah, yeah. it's in the VHS section of Walmart. <laughs> so, and and, and uh, Tom Cruise. I mean, you know, I may, mean, uh, you know, <laughs> Jamie. I, uh, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> he's talented, you know? but I try to learn like all these guys and it was so funny. And Robert Downey Jr. was one that I thought this dude is going to be huge. I mean, the soloist was amazing right. film, but his star never stops rising. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like no matter, that's what's so great about America loves. Everybody loves this guy because yeah. no matter what we feel for him personally. Yeah. And so when we want to see him in films, we want to see him succeed. Right. And so the other day when I came to your birthday party, yeah. he was there yeah. and I thought something weird is going to happen and someone's going to be like, this guy does you. Right. <laughs> right. Because that's what happened yeah. like with Seth Rogen. I was at a party yeah. and he and everyone was high yeah. and someone uh -huh. goes, does Seth Rogen know you do him? And right. I was like, this is not how Seth, Seth Rogen does not want to have me go, hey, uh, you know how you sound like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like he would be like, uh, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> It's like a mirror, but he's taller and has more. <laughs> he has more body hair. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But um, so like it was funny. So like I really thought the other night, and I didn't even see him, but he's he was standing there, and you're like, oh, this is uh, you know, Jamie, uh, you're like, this is uh, this is Robert, and I turned around, and I was like, holy shit, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. standing right there, and he just looked at me, and he went, uh, yeah, hey, what's up, Robert? Nice to meet you. Go, go. <laughs> And, and I thought, so I was like, oh, my God, during the night, I'm like, he's going to come up to me and be like, uh, okay, I don't know. Okay, here, okay, here's the deal. I <laughs> heard uh, a rumor going around this uh, party that you did an impression of me, which is cool. I don't mind, but I like, can you just uh, show me wow. the impression? That I would just, I, crazy. here, I have, obviously, I'm good. I'm great, obviously. I'm Iron Man, but right. I'm just saying. Ah, and so I wow. thought, oh my god! And we started drinking, and I thought, oh my god, it's gonna be one of those weird moments when I'm a, a, in the kitchen and I turn and no one's there, and it's just me, Robert, being like, uh, hello, can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna be like, oh damn. So <laughs> what was the first impression you did back in the day? I did. Um, I told you this story when I first met you. I did Bill Cosby. Yeah. So when I, I read an article a long time about you that you did Ronald Reagan because you said black people weren't doing like yeah. white people. And yeah. so that's when I was a kid, I did Bill Cosby because I never saw a white guy do an impression of him. Wow. And so it was that was like the first that was one of the first ones I ever learned. And then I learned um I learned uh Christopher Walken. You see the thing about oh, about the routine when the goldfish goes in the toilet is going to happen now because <laughs> that's where the goldfish goes. That's that's so hilarious. like my mother used to take me around her work as like this three year old little white kid going up to me pill and go jello pudding yeah. hilarious forever yeah but wow. uh, that's why I learned it same reason you learn radio wow man you sing also right yeah. thanks man you wow. also sing right yeah yeah well, I try to do some singing impression but we never got to do the thing is like like you learn stuff when you, in a weird way when you have to like when I started doing stand up about a year and a half ago I learned like all new people because and I think like so I'm trying to learn some some singing impressions now but yeah, I used to sing uh, when you, I was growing up. You did um, Sam Cooke at the uh, audition. Right? Oh, no. I did, um, it's so funny, I did uh, Wallace Shawn from uh, The Princess Bride. He plays the Tyrannosaurus oh, yeah. Rex in right. Toy Story. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, 
this is Woody. We've got to understand here. We've got to <laughs> find Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I thought, because for the bit that I did for Jamie the, for the audition was um, I tried to find the whitest guy in the world singing the blackest song. Right. So I came in and did um, Wallace Shawn doing the Donny Hathaway tribute concert. Hysterical. And so I came in and I was like, hello, this is Wallace Shawn. Welcome back to the Donny Hathaway tribute concert. <laughs> um, tonight I'll be singing, I've been so many places in my life and times. <laughs> I've sung a lot of songs and I've made some bad rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the how's two broke girls going? You say oh, the third season was amazing. The, what's the numbers? What's the numbers? Uh, uh, I think like ten million or something. It's funny with like yeah. with DVR, you know. Right, right, right. Uh, that you, um, but it's it's been really good. I mean, we're very lucky, um, and the show's just been getting better and better. And I feel like the numbers. The girls just hosted the People's Choice Awards, right? right, that was right. Yeah, sorry. which was it did really well. So um, we got a whole uh, viewership, and it's crazy because it's good for us to be seen that way. You know, I mean, Garrett Morris, who's on the show, is probably a lot like Garrett Morris is in real life. But the rest yeah, of us, we're not hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do an impression of him. And it, the other day he like... caught me. He caught me doing it because we were doing them. Um, like he goes like uh, he, he always goes, oh, hell no. <laughs> and uh, but he caught me doing it. But the thing is, with the rest of us, like I play a Ukrainian guy on the show. Right. And so people think I'm 45 year old Ukrainian guy. Right, hysterical. And so, and with a little Asian guy who's from San Francisco, he uh, people think he's from Korea. So it's good for us to get out there and kind of kind do. Of together. Any chance for a spinoff? Hilarious. Uh, I don't know. We, we could go in with it if we're pitching it right now. Right, right. How's your life changing now? Um, you got more black friends and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I finally had all the oh money. Says nigga at home. Oh money. Off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said I can't work on a I can't work on a Rick Ross impression because I can't sing any of his songs in public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In public. Do you prepare you know, like when we were talking about how to build characters? Yeah. You prepare the same way that I did Martin Luther King the way he does Ray. Do you find the essence of the, the character? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to. How do you prepare? As well, a comedian, like yeah. for uh for like the impressions, you know, you try to figure out what they do. And who, what kind of, what do we love them for? You know, like, and the thing is, uh, nuances and, uh, yeah, nuances, but like to think of Vince Vaughn, who's always trying to sell you something. Mm -hmm. And so I, I try to come from where they're coming from. Obviously he's a complete person, but I'm saying well, the thing that we love about him in films is he can sell us stuff that we don't want, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think that that's, that was really important to me when like coming up with uh, impressions and jokes and stuff like that. Any films coming down, coming down to shoot? Can we see any, any movies coming up real quick? I think, I mean, we're, we're the auditions are speedy. happening right now. So the speedy job. Thank, Thank you. Speedy. Good. Good to see you, man. Um, but uh, no, we're auditioning now because the summer stuff that shoots in the summer, right. we're going to be we're auditioning like in the early uh, early spring and the winter. So, but I thought like those CBS got like a. Um Exclusive deal with you guys for so many years. Yeah, we can't. I mean, they have. They don't have it on BET. You can do BET <laughs> hilarious in TV at the same goddamn time. You know? Hilarious. We don't have that problem. Uh, no, they they don't let us. Uh, or they do. We just under contract, and so we we just have to figure out with them. They just have to approve the stuff that we do. Really? But um, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Um, Fox is good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was racist. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I apologize. Damn, for that. what was that about? Skin, so I kind of, you know, I, that was crazy. Fuck off. They Welcome to another right edition right of Hee Haw. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I don't wow. know what that was. No, they were putting. Sing the Sam Cooke song. Now I ain't gonna ask you no more questions. It's supposed to be their job doing it, but they're on the phone no. and tweeting and shit. But I'm gonna ask you because no, you're not, a Jack. friend of mine. Nobody do the Sam Cooke joint. Uh, Change. Oh, oh, like like the oh, not the impression, just like the same. The, the song, yeah. Oh, um. I was born by the river in a little town. Oh, and just like the river, I've been running mm. ever since. It's been a long yeah. Long time coming, but I know chain gon' come. Chain yes gon' come. come All right. Hey, you can call Speedy a nigga two times for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, show your love Speedy for Sam. Speedy two times <laughs> uncooked. <laughs> Sam pre-cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Sam pre-cooked. 
Sam Preet. So <laughs> Give it up for Sam Preet Cook. <laughs> Call in 855. Sam, slow to cook. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say this. We have had a fantastic, it. great, what is fantastic that? show, man. Yeah, like, what's up? Wow. We had Randall I, I didn't Cobb. want to come, Fox. I ain't going to front. Why? I was busy. My daughter's in town. And, is that right? And, and the daughter's mom and everybody else. Is, is it together? Is no, she's married. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay. She oh, found don't, get, don't get defensive. This nigga's like, he's on the cutters. Why did you turn Puerto Rican all of a sudden? I'm glad I can. Don't That's still your baby mama, though. Yeah, she got, she's going to suffer. You always get this. But it has been, it was great. What the fuck? It ain't about your son right now, Clifton Powell. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Bring you been your preaching son your son here, on your son. You even took a DNA test. You don't even know that's your fucking... Y'all don't even look alike. First, first of all, we want to say Jonathan... He's light-skinned and you're dark. We want to say, say Jonathan Kite, man. You know, good things happen to good people, man. Right. You've always been fantastic. Uh, also, those 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 voices that you did on Welcome to the Jungle, we got to revisit oh that because God, that's, that's going to be amazing. Uh, we, are, we are embarking upon the first uh, animation... Hip hop animation, first hip hop animation is like uh, uh, Lion King meets uh, Eight Mile. Yeah. So uh, and he's he's he does all the, uh, the I'm gonna be in there the, the voices for that. So man, thank you for coming out. We're having a great Fluffy time. We're gonna turn, we, we might turn this into a party, man. What? Fox, I'm saying Speedy got the Speedy Juice and yeah, and they they cut it. me off, boy. Huge fan. I'm looking really head. sexy right now. All right, we got. <laughs> come, get over here and introduce your son. No, no, come on, come on, introduce your son. Really, really, you brought him down right there. There's a mic right there. First of all, let me let me do this. Go down. Let me just say this, Jonathan Kite man. Keep Thank doing Jonathan things. Kite, you're a beast, man. Two broke girls. Time. Watch it. Where we could see it. Um, it's on. Uh, we're going to be moving time slots right now. We're at. Uh, eight uh, seven thirty eight thirty Central on CBS Monday nights, but we're going to be moving to the seven o'clock. Uh, 8 Central on, uh, in March, but we'll Swap. be on for a little mm -hmm. bit. So it's the money spot on mon uh, Monday night on Amazing CBS. Fantastic, Jonathan Kyle! Yeah! yeah. We, got, we might just turn and ask a question. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do tonight. I might just turn this into it. Uh, I, went to, I went to university for it a while ago, and then... But did you take acting? Right so, now? No, no, I'm saying, did you take acting classes back in the day to be able to morph into the different characters? No, you? I mean, I think you just... Yeah, I was a lonely kid. You too. Say yeah, <laughs> spend a lot of time on myself. No, no, no. Um, I probably just had a talent for it, just an ear, but I there's not. I didn't really know how. It's I a gift. It. Yeah. Right. Thanks, ma'am. All right, let's do this. So right, I'm gonna do it real quick. I love no, it. listen. The reason I'm doing this because we were talking about fathers being in, in, in young men's lives, mm -hmm. correct? About African American fathers being there, mm -hmm. and and I gotta tell you, my father had a fourth grade ed education mm -hmm. and wasn't able. Shut up, nigga. It's pinky, nigga. He ain't the only one. You got it, too. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. You allergic to it. Yeah. No, it's that, it's that stuff the co had. At least, least, no, no, no. least he went to school. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> least, least he went to fourth grade. Elementary ain't bad now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, nigga. Hey, it's pinky, nigga. Um, but no, no, no. We were talking about, and, 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 and my son has really, um, um, this is my young son. He has really, really, really gone into the gym and really worked on his game. Because we all want our kids like to be the best, and I think it's hard for fathers. They have a show on HBO called Trophy Trophy Kids, and it's really deep to see black fathers involved mm -hmm. with their kids. And you and my get to your son. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get to yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. It's all about you right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let this no. man Is that speak. Is that Tell Masato? him to shut the fuck up on his no, seat. No, <laughs> right. <laughs> so I just wanted him to say something about uh, he's killing him at tap. Just say something. Say. You better say some real shit. Did you say his name? Stand up, stand up. Go ahead and see, cuz. Uh, I go to Tav High School, class of 2015, Clifton Powell. Junior. <laughs> oh, okay. And, uh, He's like, I don't really. Oh, you the third? Yeah. yeah, I'm the third. So it's oh, two, two in front of you? I never met the first one. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just asking. Who said that? <laughs> Somebody said what? First two was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Max. That's fucked up. Do you, you, you want to act also as, like your father? Do you stand, you, up. Uh, stand I don't, up. I don't really act. I just, I just play ball. Yeah, you just hoop. Yeah. Who's your favorite so, player in the league? Jamal Crawford. Okay. Yeah. Wow, nice. Okay. Jamal Crawford. You play like Jamal Crawford? Yeah, I doubt you it. You think you can take you think you can take us? Take who? Us. Us. The 40 year old. 40 and 40 he, and something. He's not else. even knowing on the, on what the you're video saying. Game? No, like, we wow. got, we got a court wild. downstairs. He's don't don't like, take us out of court. With a basketball? You know you by yourself. I know you by yourself. I know you by yourself. I got I got Alan Payne. We got Yeah, we got some. I got, I got my we don't want to hurt the boy. They foul a lot. He no doesn't even know what you're talking about. So let me ask you this: How does it How does it feel? First of all, what 
your, 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 your teammates and everything, are you the leader on the team? Yeah, I actually am. I came off an injury. I was all, out for four months. What and, happened? Uh, popped a blood vessel on my right thigh in Vegas. Uh, yeah. In Vegas? In Vegas? Yeah. In Vegas? Where? I had a girlfriend was, uh, of mine pop a blood vessel on my right thigh, too. <laughs> and I told that bitch, get the fuck out of this goddamn room before the cops get here. <laughs> Popping blood vessels in your ass. With stop it. Ass. Go ahead like, on, young you man. Stop it. Go ahead on, young no, man. It was a Nike tournament. I went up. Uh, well, I took a charge. Uh, oh. And I popped a blood vessel. I was, uh, I went right to the hospital. You was rushed to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You had your Kaiser card. Uh, oh, well, Dad had to uh, get down there and yeah. give me my insurance. So. That's all good. He put sack, but look. So, um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I took so, a charge too, so, breaking so, it so, in. So now, so now, so now, what's your workout? What's happening now? So now I'm just about seventy five percent better. And seventy five percent. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get my legs back. Right. What, school, what, what, what school are you trying to commit to, man? Uh, I want to go to Georgetown. They sort of no interest, not, not, not uh, offer okay. yet. Now, do you no. have a ranking right now? What grade yeah. you in? Uh, 2015 junior. Your junior? Oh, yeah. Do you have a ranking yet? Yeah, before I was hurt, I was 25 in Cal- California. Yeah, now, right. okay. I went back oh, up to 45. I'm 45 in good. California. As long as you got some numbers on there, man. Yeah. That's great, man. Mm-hmm. Cliff Powell Jr., man. That's great. Sure. Cliff Thank Powell you for coming Jr. into that now. Now, later on, it's going to be some nakedness and some drugs in here, fella. <laughs> We're going to be busting off. It won't I be a vein. it's already happening somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speedy, hey, Speedy, this is nice. You like that? It's Speedy Juice. I feel my kidneys burning out, but, <laughs> but uh, this is... Uh, it's lard base. This is all- <laughs> 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 oh shit! That's a joke of the day. CDP, it's the base. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I've had a fantastic time, huh? Because that's when he had time. Because I didn't have. I didn't have... Wow. 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 wow! wow! It's half a homosexual. Oh, it's tough. Oh, you out can't. Here, you man. can't say. Stop. Yeah, your side street sissy. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough out here, man. Is it? Is it hot in here? Yeah. Yes. You keep fucking with the yes. temperature, man. It's, it's, what are you doing? Damn. Because yeah, people got to stop taking hot, their clothes off. Have a hot flat. Take your nigga, I, nigga, I, 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 need, I need them to take the clothes off. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't understand Start the movement. Off, Carmina. The air condition is broke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Carmina. Get it going. Estás escuchando? Women got all these crochet outfits on. We got to go in the pool. We well, this is what I this is what I say. Speak since on we, the box. Since we here, and we we ain't had a turn up in a minute. We might mm. as well turn up. We got food coming. We food might as well be here in ten minutes. We might as well. What do you think, Johnny Mac? Is it the right thing to do? Safe sex. Fox be here. Fox, you doing your thing? You got movies coming out. What do you say, hey. Speak on the feathers. <laughs> feathers. I, I think we should turn it up, Fox. You here? Got the foxhole coming back. You got movies coming out, Spider Man and Fox Annie Fox and everything Fox. else. Everybody Decent doing their thing. You, you deserve to celebrate right yeah. now, Fox. You, know what? I think we celebrate. you work hard. You work hard. You work hard. Fox. Madonna, celebrate. Turn up. Make your picks. I got San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, hell no. no I got no. Seattle at home. I got Denver. Good one. What, what's the, what's the I, I got. I got. My pick is. I got. I got upset. San Francisco. I feel that. My man, what's my man name? Russell? Russell, Russell Wilson. Russell think, Westbrook. I think what happens, I'm going to just give you, I'm going to just give you my take on it because I didn't say anything. Speak on the Fox. But I've always said this, size matters. That's yes, what she it said. does. And it at does. The, yeah. And at the end of the day. Size does matter in certain positions. At the end of the day. That's not true. At the end of the day, <laughs> what I feel is going to happen. What the fuck is you doing? When it comes to the quarterback spot. Because in the playoffs, Kaepernick. things things get tighter. Yeah, Kaepernick things, has a lot of turnovers. Can I finish? He has a lot of turnovers. Can I, can I finish Matt. what I'm saying? He, Fox, he gonna can jump. I just finish what I'm saying? I mean, you, you can jump right in. I don't, I don't, all, all I'm saying, you can move, disagree. T-O. Good but what move, I'm T-O. what I'm saying is I'm saying this. What I'm saying is about even if T.O. T.O. can attest to this. I think Seattle is having a great season. I think what is happening though right now, you got to look at teams when they on a roll and they hot. They got, the made, they got major cut. T. O. can T. O. can jump back into jump this. In, I'm gonna get. You can jump in, back into this. Jump in, T. O. Let him have. Cause I gotta argue with him. I, I, you got. Thank I you so much. This is the here. same nigga. T. This is the same guy I that picked the Chargers. He picked the Chargers. I did pick the Chargers. Come over here, T. O. T. O. Come over here. Why you do that? Yeah. Hey, nigga, pimps ain't perfect. Yeah, pimps ain't perfect. Go ahead, T. O. Shit, nigga, even Michael Jordan missed free throws, nigga. Why you grabbing yourself like that? Cause it's a big, it's a big situation now. We see right there. This is why I picked Seattle. Seattle's at home, and Seattle in the last two years beat them twenty-nine to three. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Can I, can I finish what I'm saying? I feel right now, what's the name? Russell? 
Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, I feel right now Black his confidence is a little shook. Oh no. And, his, and this what? is what I'm this one this is I'm just giving you my opinion. Not the best running guy. I'm just giving you my opinion. I got you. I think right now he's a li- he's a little tight. And I think I think when those windows start to close, huh? I, but that's, that's what I'm what saying. supposed to do. You said because he mixed, Fox. <laughs> yeah, you said because he, he got curly hair. Yeah, that nigga that, got good hair. I, I'm just saying, to me, mm-hmm. I see a certain tightness no. that's going on with, with Russell Pete. What's his name? Russell, Russell Wilson. Wilson. Oh, my God. You Russell don't even know Wilson. his name. Fuck, I ain't got to know the nigga name. Charlie, Charlie Wilson. Why? Because he's black. Because he's black. Speedy Juice. Because he's black. You know how I feel about you black quarterbacks. Like, you don't like black quarterbacks. No, I don't like that shit. Boxing, nigga, name is Wilson. It ain't a football Charlie Mack. Charlie Wilson. Johnny Mack. Johnny Mack. He don't like black quarterbacks, though. Why? Because Tony Romo ain't black? Pretty much. He's a millennium racist. Did you, did you hear what I said? What? And he'll tell you this. He don't know. Who, why you don't like... Bla- uh, this is what I tell you. Black ahead. quarterbacks going to have to start proving themselves. Okay. Doug Williams. Stan- Doug what? Williams Listen. got a Super Bowl. Nigga, you know how long ago that was? Don't matter. Nigga, it was proved. a single bar back then, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, there was four teams in the goddamn league. <laughs> and not since then has anyone learned that you got to stay in that goddamn bowl. Mm. He'll tell you. You got to stay in that goddamn Cap bowl. Nick don't stay in the pocket. I'm, I'm not saying. I want to hear from T.O. I want to hear from T.O. What, 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 what do you, you want to know? know? Me and him have been having an argument. I've been so let down by black quarterbacks. Why? Yeah. When, because they keep running around and trying to get out the goddamn pocket and get their fucking leg broke. Andrew Luck uh, runs the ball. I don't give a fuck about him. Right. Uh, RG3, Me neither. Uh, RG3 was a fuck up. But I, no, he'll I tell you. No, Wilson, Russell, Russell, Wilson. Russell Wilson is more of a pocket passer than, than, than Colin Thank Kaepernick. You, Obviously, Thank with the, the offense surrounded by... The, the athletes that Colin Kaepernick has, his weapons, they're tailoring to his strength. Colin Running. Kaepernick is not a pocket passer, Thank but you. It, no. as you see with the emergence of Michael Tra- Crabtree that has come mm-hmm. back to the lineup, he has been able to be able to do the, some of the things that we saw last year and as of late in the last two to three ball games that Michael Tra- Crabtree has come mm-hmm. in. But he can't run. So who? Crabtree ain't at full speed. It doesn't Sherman matter. Gonna right, but you, Sherman going to eat that motherfucker up. Sherman going to eat him up. Right, but the thing is, his presence on the field has allowed Colin Kaepernick to do what he did. Look at the Green Bay game. Green Bay ain't got no D. Allowed... Green Bay ain't got no D. Right. I'm sorry about that. It's, it's not about it's right Green now. Bay right here. Right now. Uh, Nigga, it's, right now, uh, 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 Davis is still open. He ain't got no D. But the thing is... <laughs> but, the, but the thing is... Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac. <laughs> Please turn your lights on when leaving the Green Bay arena. <laughs> did, you, did you say... Damn. Motherfucker, they got Del no Taco is giving away free right. tacos for the... Damn. Right, but the thing is... Is, Johnny Mac is that as as everyone has seen, is this my Colin Ka- Kaepernick has looked like the Colin Kaepernick of old. That's because the emergence yeah. and the importance of the weapons that he has in the wide receiver position got Anquan Bolden over there, and you have Vernon Davis. I guess left he, opponent. No, no, no. Hold on, Johnny Mac. He's allowed. He's allowed to move around a little bit more freely than he has been because when he wasn't there. Speaking of Michael Crabtree, they double teamed. And eliminated some of the weapons that they thought they was going to beat him. So now he's spread at the field. So now he's able to catch, so move, I, catch can, lanes, can and he's been able to move. He's been, so he's been able to can move. I, can I speak? No, no, no. You had yours. His mobility it's, has been able to to, he to get flourish. He's going to get past. So, so can I get past Sherman? Wait, can I get past Sherman? Can I, can I say something? Uh, 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 John Crabtree. Crabtree. No, no. Can I speak? I'm looking forward to. Trust me, I'm looking forward to the matchup because I saw as I as I told my boy yesterday. Anquan Bolden was doing a lot of barking in the last game. Let's see if he's going to do that against uh, Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman's not that guy. Thank you. He's Sherman's going to shut him down. Can I, can I add, Challenge Russ, the, the but can I add, but, but, but can he's I add that dog. Can I add to something? Go ahead. Now, uh, what he just said didn't make no sense. is the reason. <laughs> <laughs> what he just said is the reason that I feel San Francisco has a better yes. chance no to, beat, to beat San Francisco. I wouldn't say all of that. They have an opportunity. All I'm saying is, I have, it's my opinion. The beach is going to pound. They're about to get a heavy dose of 24. Thank you so much. I get that. All I'm saying is. never let him speak? He just spoke. I just spoke. I just spoke. Oh, you order, can, come can on. And now, you never got to go call back to the, Philly go. calls Junior Burger either. Go ahead. Can I go back to the black quarterback let's situation? Go. Let's go to that. But they're both black. Can I go back to that? When I was telling Ty- Tyron about black quarterback, I said, listen, he knows this and he knows this because they play football. In football, a guard, a left guard, let's talk a left guard and a left tackle. Right. They do one thing Stay their with whole lady. career. Right. Speak on it, fine. From the point when they in the seventh grade until they get to pros, they do it. They protect that bowl. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay to be athletic. But when you have the black quarterback continuously trying to get outside the pocket, right. eventually niggas 
niggas can run yeah. that are defensive players yeah. break these niggas in half. So I told him, I said, look, man, I can't keep getting my feelings hurt. Okay. I'm wearing my Black Panther shit. I'm <laughs> watching, the, watching the goddamn black quarterback. Oh, it's all sparkly and shit. My yeah. coach used to say, hey, look at you out there lollygagging and shit and getting your fucking head handed to you. Yeah. Right. I'm saying at a certain point you can't get away from the basics of football. Right. You have to you right. have to stay in that goddamn and pocket and you have to be able to read but, offenses and uh, right. read defenses mm -hmm. in order to win the game. And, and that, right. that goes now, against Kaepernick. He he he, he got a one look. Let, let me, he let, can't let, read. let me let me no, let me no, let me no, no, he don't read defenses. He don't go to the secondary box hole after Wilson. dark. Hold on, hold on. Right, and but that's when you go to Russell Wilson. That's what I'm saying. But but Russell Wilson, what I feel but what I feel but what I feel Russell Wilson right now. I feel that his size right now is starting to... to They're going to pound the rock I'm and play action. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on. Hey, don't don't let because, because he got an Oscar throw you off. How, how great has Russell been playing? He's been playing solid. He's solid. Been playing he hasn't been playing he great. Been Randall Cobb he's on the mic. He's a game. He's a game. But he hasn't been playing, but he hasn't been he playing great. He's been he been playing efficient. Efficient. But he does efficient get you to that dance? And, and you know, and you know, this. You said, and you know this, he and, and you can I understand it, but Baltimore. you got to put some points up. Baltimore, you got to put some points they up. They beat them twenty-nine enough. to three. They beat, them, they beat San Francisco and in San Francisco Seattle. beat them. Set nineteen to seventeen, in the last second. But they, they still knocked beat the them. shit out of them in this motherfucking Seattle. That's a Seattle dude. They knocked the shit well, out hey, of man. you. Well, how about this? My goddamn pick is San Francisco. How you about that? You don't know shit. Okay. You don't know shit, Fox. Jamie Foxx has just predicted <laughs> you, San Francisco 49ers you're betting with your ass, to the not Super with Bowl. your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Right. San I mean, Fran San Fran. Again, I, I you get what you're saying, Jamie, but the thing is, when you talk about Russell Wilson <laughs> yeah. and what he's done this year, it hasn't been great, hasn't been spectacular, but he's been a game manager. Right. He's been more of an efficient or pocket passer. I'll take that. More so than Colin Kaepernick. The only reason Colin Kaepernick is getting out of the pocket, that's because he hasn't had any receivers that are open. So he has to go to the next thing. The best thing for him is, is to use his legs. His legs. So other than and, that, and if, he doesn't, if he doesn't have people open. And no open, goddamn linebackers in Seattle are going to knock the shit out of him. Well, All I'll you got to do is knock the shit hey, out of him one time. If I had to say anything, I would say Colin is going to be tighter than Russell Wilson. You goddamn I, I, I right. Don't think Russell, you, Wilson oh, oh is, Russell Wilson is a professional. Dog. He's been there before. He's been there without being there before. Yeah. No, no, no. He did not go to the Super Bowl. The a nigga bit more only hungry. Play, he didn't only, first of all, he only played seven games last year. Why your head on your heels? Hill, Hill took him to the fucking Super Bowl. He, did, he only played seven games. What are you he he about? came in for when Hill got so hurt. So Colin Kaepernick didn't play in the Super Bowl. Nigga, and he fucked it all up. He was a bum. He got beat by a better team. Nigga, the lights went out. That's why they came back. It was a goddamn conspiracy. <laughs> Boy, nigga. It was, the I, lights go out at the Super Bowl. We love my black Bowl. quarterback. We love the I do love my black quarterback. But what I told you, my argument was with the black quarterback is that, listen, man, you got to be able to stand in that fucking Joe pocket. Joe Montana just said that right. the other day. Listen to me. But but you you see, did. He but, showed but you, Joe did. Joe Montana If you're saying that, I, that the black quarterback needs to stay in the pocket, that's not really to Colin Kaepernick's strength. That's what I'm saying. What, hold so on, I'm, I'm confused. Get him, T.O. I'm confused. Get him, is Russell Wilson's strength in the pocket? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. No, it is not. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Welcome, A.B. I tell you what, let's, let's ask, let's ask it, Randall. Does, does, does Russell Wilson his stand strength. in the pocket his strength. and dictate? His does he do that? Play action. Randall what Kyle. is his, what is his strength? And then, his strength? and then what does he do? Play action. And then what does he do? He sets up. Does he stand in the pocket? He sets up. tell you. He sets up in the pocket and he rolls. Out of the pocket. God damn Thank you. No, no, so he's on the move. He he's on the move. He's play action in the pocket, out of the pocket. Both. Both. Fox so live after hours. It's going down. It's going down. So you telling me that Russell Wilson and Peyton Manning has the same style? No. What does Russell, what does Russell Wilson do? He moves. They he gets out of the mobile. pocket, right? Right, but he's a more of a mobile he's quarterback. A, exactly. And all I'm Peyton saying is, Tio, Tio, all all you don't see he's Peyton Manning but Tio, running no play action, but at moving the same outside time, the pocket. Who won the Super Bowl last year? John Elway was a mobile quarterback, too, though. Uh, who won the he Super Bowl last year? Flacco. Flacco can't move two inches. You're right. You're right. You're right. And what is he? In the pocket. He's a pocket passer. You're right. So let's do this. So my thing is, what I'm saying is this. You're right. I'm saying that a coach who is teaching a, a black quarterback differently. Right. Okay. Because you know how they teach us differently. Right, they because we're because of, our, because of our athleticism. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, and my father's a coach, he says, my father's saying, 
what you do is when you teach a a a quarterback because of his athleticism in college, what you're doing is you're hampering him when he gets to the pros. Okay. It's, it's, okay. it's, 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 it's not about skin. It's not about skin. It's well, like John Elway, I'm at, I just want to know. No, John Elway, you can't, you can't even say John Elway. Okay. Okay. Right. But, but what I'm saying is this. If I teach Johnny Mac because of his athleticism, that ain't gonna fuck it. If you can't read it, take off and run. Right. What I'm doing is, once you get to the pros, I'm handicapping you. But that's not who Wilson it's, Wilson is. But I'm not. But, but hold on. He's a but, but hold on. But hold on. Okay. Away from the argument. But, but watch yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hold on. No, no. Fox no, 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 after hours. That's what he does. Yo, no, no. Before the night is over. And the niggas are Sagittarius. The niggas are Sagittarius. Before the night is over, it's going to be Kobe's fault. Before the night is over. Hold on. But Johnny Mac. But Johnny Mac. But Johnny Mac. He'll tell you this, and he'll tell you this. They teach you because you are athletic yeah. as a quarterback. They teach you to use your legs first and your head second. No. That's what they teach you. He'll tell you. He plays. Use your strength. They use, use your strength. Your strength. For what I'm, for and that's what, what he was trying to tell you with Russell Wilson. He's exactly. going to do play action pass. You're not going to see Peyton strength. Manning do that because that's not his but, but strength. But that's what I'm saying, though. That's, that's what I'm saying, T.O. I respect everything you're saying. All my argument was with Tyron was, when I was saying, when I was saying that the black quarterback, by being able to use his legs all the time, eventually, in the pros, that's a gift. It's a gift. But, but look, you, at, but look, at man, look at your man. Look at your man. Sometimes, look at your man. Look at your man. My man, that you, 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 you little, you exposed him a little bit. Romo? Your man. No, nigga, the nigga did no, no. McNair. Oh, man, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you exposed it. It's but, like. Well, he wasn't accurate. No, no, hold on to that. That's what I'm saying. When he had to stand in the pocket, once the shit get down to the Super Bowl, they cut all that shit out. Well, he's a you Gemini. Know? You know. But that's what we saying. So, so my thing is, is this. When he has to stand in the pocket and actually deliver, they fall short. So forget about the skin. All I'm saying is when you have an athletic person. Kaepernick, don't. Use your strength. And, and you use your strength. But the strength of this is like I've said, like my father's always said they've learned to protect their bowl all their lives so when you breach it that's where you have failed Trouble. that's all i'm saying right. so when you look at rg3 who is a great athletic person but the but, fact that they don't want to allow him to stand in there and learn that first shit. First of all, he's a bum. He's not a bum. No, he's, he's a fucking a bum. bum. He's a Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny. Nigga, Michael Vick. Why are you guys even listening to him? Michael he's Vick. talking about the Raiders. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, 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 who you just say? Motherfucker, he's a bum. R RG3. RG3. Nigga, he, he managed. What happened this year? Dude, Dude, he that nigga was so busy with. Oh, oh, my God. Let's count him up. He married the white broad and his goddamn game went downhill. That's what happened. He was so busy. It was the truth. He was so busy getting his goddamn game together. Hours. Oh he was God. so hey, busy getting man, this. See how we get off? Look, well, all what I'm saying is really going on. I love, I love White Michael. Bitches I love bring Ma niggas down. I, <laughs> I, I love Michael Vick, right? Yeah, we love right. Michael Vick. Yeah. What happened to Michael Vick? He's a bum. He got hurt. I love, I love every black quarterback. But what, what eventually but, happened? But white quarterbacks get hurt too. What no. happened to Willie? What happened to John Rick? I mean, um, uh, Joe Theismann. Yeah. You can't Willie say that. Willie trying to win the game. He was trying to fuck this. Exactly. What happened to Joe Theismann? So all I'm gonna say is this. Fox don't know what the fuck. All I'm saying is, me and Tyron have these conversations all the time. He don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm gonna start having better I'm, conversations with other people. That's what I'm saying. What happened with Tyron? Yeah, wow. he's strike wow. one and two. Wow. Well, I'm gonna say this. My pick is San Francisco because yeah. I feel like they got the hot hand. Your pick is Seattle. Different. It's a better Seattle. pick. It's a better pick because it's you are in the, in in the in, in NFL, and I'm going with emotions. I'm rolling with them. And this is what we do. We we have categories. We have an emotional category, right. and then we have facts. Right now, right. I'm in the emotional well, category. Well, an emotional okay. person. No, no, no. I could but, be on both. No, but, but yeah. But, <laughs> so we know you, 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 you yeah. get emotional. Fox Foxhole after hours. Come on, no, don't talk, quarter, don't You get emotional. Right. 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 You crowd out of the Carl's Jr. commercial, didn't they? <laughs> hey, so I'm going emotional <laughs> with San Francisco, and I'm going emotional with the New England Patriots. Wow. You lost your goddamn mm. mind. You blowing it. You on high power knockout. Jamie right Foxx has just you blowing said. It. Jamie Foxx is on high power knockout. Randall Cobb, too. Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. Your New England Patriots. Seattle Seahawks. Denver Broncos. You're goddamn genius. It's going to be a horrible you're Super Bowl. It ain't going to be no parties, nigga. I don't want to party. Nobody from genius. Seattle go party. Denver and Seattle. Seattle go party. <laughs> Seattle got a gang of niggas. No. Pick. Uh, I'm going to go Seattle, Denver. You're goddamn genius. I'm going 49 in Denver. 49 is Denver. You on drugs. I got Seattle. Get the fuck back. I got Seattle. <laughs> and what, the Raiders? I got Seattle and Denver. 
and Seattle gonna win it all. Carmina, what's Happy your Happy birthday, what's Michelle Obama, what's the first lady. Tradition? I'm going with the uh, Seattle and uh, Patriots. Who you got, Carmina? You don't drink. San Francisco, all the way. Uh, and who? San all Francisco the way. and who? Who they playing in the Super Bowl? And uh, Seattle. They, they can't play week. Seattle. Right. They, can't they can't play, play each other uh, in the right. Super Bowl. Get it, wait, 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 I'm going wait, wait, with Atlanta get Housewives. Get it together. Get it together. She got four skin all on her mind. She can't. Redskins. Red, what? I'm done. What the I'm fuck? done. What are you doing? I'm done. Broncos Niners. She's talking about Broncos, 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 Broncos Niners. Broncos Niners. The Niners are going to take the. Dave Brown is going hey, for the 49ers. Carmelita is messing up the credibility of the Jamie Foxx. Yo, Fox. it's, Fox. it's Jamie Foxx. It's Foxx on radio. When I die, let it play. Let it play. Yeah. When I die, heaven better be off the chain. We having a ball right now. If you ain't know, it's Foxhole, baby. We going in right now. Shout out to you, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Shout out to you, Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's go get it, baby. Yeah. Hey. I'm going to the after party. After party. After party. Let's go. Murphy. Carmina. Make sure you watch Real Husbands of Hollywood.